have this for the, the house. Mm. This smells really nice, Gucci Bloom. It smells sort of something like that. Uh, actually, we can repl replicate smells too. I'm a celebrity. I started the video there for a very specific reason. The beginning, it, it's not all that. But right there where she comes out of nowhere with Gucci Bloom, okay, in a like the home fragrance, okay. I'm like, that's a lot of liquid in that bottle. And then it hit me. Is that what this guy makes? Is that what the perfume is? Because these perfume, like what he was pulling out the other day was massive quantities. And where she just said something about replicating smells, I was like, oh, is that what's going on? Is that what he does? His perfume company? He's he's like knocking off perfumes? I think that's what it is. Ugh. Celebrity? Really, girl sip? <clears throat> I'm not surprised. <laughs> What would the hater um fragrance smell like? Tracy, hey. I know I've seen people saying, throw her in jail. Knock on wood, but you guys are insane. Onions. A lot of people were saying, throw her in jail. And yeah, uh, you people are insane. We're not the insane ones sitting in Kuwait talking mad shit and breaking the law. That's you, girl. There's a debate going on right now. Chantal hasn't been live, hasn't posted on the community tab, hasn't nothing in 24 hours. Um. Okay. What's going on? Where is she? What do you guys think is going on? I have a theory on what's going on. A lot of people thinking online, Maybe she got arrested. Maybe she's already on her way back to Canada. It's possible, I suppose. Um, I, I have a theory that it's neither one of those things. I think she's just, yeah, laying low. She's been getting a lot of shit for now, a few different directions. And with Chantal's pattern of behavior, whenever she's getting too much shit from too many places, she tends to lay low. She'll lay low. She'll take a day off. And then she'll test the waters with something. It'll either be a community tab post, just members only, or maybe a recorded video. There's always her testing the water. And then if she sees that whatever is received well, she'll come live. It's how Chantal has always functioned. So I guess, yeah, unless she's locked up or on her way back to Canada, which I just don't think is, is accurate. You know, uh, I think that's what she's doing. So later today, we'll, we'll wait and see. Does she give any? I think it'll be a, uh, what do you call it? Members only community post. We'll see. We'll see. That's how she's done it the last few times. How about a garlic smell? Dead Osbies. Member seven months, loyalty bees. Hey, these are the Holy Trinity might be gone, but I'm still here. OG bees there. Thank you, God. Thank you, Ted, for being a loyalty bees. Rebees there, rebees. We should team up. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> <clears throat> All Forty Beauty does is eat like a cow. You're absolutely right. <laughs> At least she admits it. Uh, yeah, my voice is kind of shot. I'm. You know, I woke up this morning. I was surprised I hadn't lost my voice. So I. I don't know. It might. It might go. It might not. We'll see how this one. It's a crapshoot at this point. No. What if Hillary Clinton will defy the chance of lock her up? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not me. Well, Harry's awake. I don't know what else to say except say that. <laughs> Which people do apparently. Um, this cheese is like weird. It doesn't taste like processed cheese. I'm gonna tag YouTube on Twitter. Twitter CD amount of bullying these people do to you. Thank you, girl sip. I don't think YouTube cares, unfortunately. Hey feral girl. <laughs> Look how long they've let people like go after Anne Boleyn. 
like her or not, like people do the same thing, if not worse to her. But. Ugh. Ugh. You know, it's really gross. Ugh. Chantal always does it, but it's like, you're not even in your own home and now you're getting grease on someone else's couch. Every bite she takes of that fried chicken. Notice when she puts down the fried chicken, she wipes her hand across her pants across like the leg of her pants. But then that pant leg is right next to the couch. So she's getting that greasy chicken hand onto someone else's couch. It's disgusting. I'm gonna put her on 1.5 speed just cause this is kind of a long one, okay? If it's going too fast and we can't like hear her, we can slow her back down, but fuck that. Is it creepy about how obsessed Didi and I are obsessed with, and I turd are obsessed with you? <clears throat> I was talking to my friend last night. And she's like, oh my god. Trash bag and uh, comb over queen of Lachine are still talking about you. When I hear doo-doo talk about me, it makes me I sit here eating laughing. Keep eating, Chantal. Are you skinny? Are you? I'm not as fat as you. No, but you're not as pretty either. You're not as pretty to anyone who's, uh, <clears throat> you know, thinking Chantal's good looking at all. Go take a look at my community tab post from this morning on YouTube. <laughs> Better looking than 90% of YouTube. Um, uh, yeah, Didi has lost weight. That's a good point. Are you skinny? No, but Didi has like consistently lost weight. She's lost like a good amount of weight in the past year that we've seen Didi. Uh, and listen, if it's like, who would you rather, Chantal or Didi? I'm picking Didi. And I, I can't stand Didi, but I'm picking Didi. Am I, is that conceited? It's diluted, not conceited. Conceited would be if you were actually good looking and kept throwing it in people's faces. The fact that you sit there with that face talking about how good looking you are means that you're delusional. And they literally imagine being in a loving relationship, which we all know is BS. This is what it, he turns on members only and he has like five people watching. Anyway, everything you say, calling me bitch or Musa, everything you say, has been recorded and is going as soon as I get home I'm going to my police station with the revenge pee and all of these things are still talking about me <clears throat> and of all the people who talk about him spread things about him talk about his abuse he comes after me only targeted can't wait for you to get what's coming to you anyway then their big screen tv that's why I put that in my song has me and Sala on it and they're like spitting with rage and you people think I rage nothing in comparison Nothing compares to you because you're pathetic. Here he is, the new celebrity. I gave him egg today, cucumber, mango, some pellets. And that's it. I don't want to overfeed him. Creeps me out. I don't know how Chantal does it. Because you guys are awesome. Honestly, having a abuser community makes this worthwhile for me. I have a lot of support, even though I have a lot of hate. Having a beezer community. A beezer community. You guys are awesome. Until the next time I want to rage and verbally abuse all of you, and then you can all go fuck yourselves. New Year's Tyler. I saw you have been planning a tour of Canada. We're going to drive by the villa. We'll get arrested. <laughs> yeah, that's not how that works, honey. I'm not encouraging, you know, anyone at all to drive by Chantal's house or anything, but to say somebody driving by the villa is going to get arrested. Why? Because they drove by Pizza's house? and didn't harass you at all and just drove by a public street. That's not how life works, ma'am. If that was true, you know, you driving back and forth, back and forth, up and down to carry when you thought I lived on to carry in Barret, you could have been locked up, right? With your own logic. They're not going anywhere. <clears throat> when pigs fly. My chicken soup? No, I'm gonna make him cheesy pasta. He loves pasta. He loves basic pasta, like macaroni. I'm like, what do you want to make? You want me to make a sauce? I made like an Alfredo sauce. He doesn't like. He likes, um, he's very, very. Okay, he likes pasta with a bit of olive oil and salt and pepper. He's like, I love your macaroni bake. I'm like, my macaroni? There's nothing special about it. <laughs> he's so cute. They look like a freaking under. Does anyone think she's actually made him a macaroni? I love your pasta, babe. I hate when she says babe. I don't, there's, there was an old skit on SNL 
it's not that old actually i think it was from like the 2000s and it was just this like obnoxious couple and they just kept like babe 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 back and forth that's the vibe i get every time she starts with babe underwater diver right now they get away with so much on youtube they do shit girl sip i love you so much <laughs> hey tyler thanks for hanging out guys while i'm by myself i slept all day not all day i woke up early we were gonna go do an important thing we had to do and then we found out the place closes early so i took marad and dia to go get groceries he did a huge grocery Ziad, there's a new character? Did I miss something? Again, I haven't watched this. Morad and Ziad, and it rhymes. Is that maybe Morad's kid? Is that another friend? Who knows? Are we getting more characters in this? I don't want more dingleberries. The order. I put all of them away. I like basically never have to go to the grocery store if I don't want to. I love it. Ziad, the little boy in the video, wanted to say hi to me. Oh, okay. Ziad is the little boy in the videos. Got it. He's allowed to see me without a hijab, obviously. Uh, kids, family, women. I feel dumb around these kids, man. I don't know any words in Arabic. So if he's coming in and he, he goes, Ziad, yeah, give me a hug. And I'm like, oh, he's not Arabic. I'm like, Mahaba, <laughs> give him a hug. And I'm just like, I don't know what to say. Like, Shlonit means like, how are you? And he's so cute. He's in his little voice. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's not creepy or anything. Can you imagine? There's like a 400 and something pound stinking woman. Come get a hug. Why are you hugging random children? You don't know them. Stay away. It's like, or not stay away. I'm not saying like stay totally away, but why do you have to hug the random kids that you don't know? Because Salad did. Salad probably like has a rapport with those kids, knows those kids. It's not the same thing. Don't be hugging randos kids. Okay, ads, no fries left behind. We wait. It's a perfect time for this spot because that is fucking creepy. Poor kid, not even Salad is hugging her. Bloop. <laughs> I hate that. I hate when people force like hugs on uh people, kids, you know, whatever. But like, you don't know them. I, I get it if you know them. I come from the culture also where you're forced that shit on you. If you know them, no randos coming up and hugging any of us. Like, what the hell, you know? It's uh, inappropriate, in my opinion. Ads are still running. Oh, my God. They're out of control. It's out of control. Her underbite is so prominent. <laughs> it, it, it really does look so right now, doesn't it? Mm, mm. That's actually a, a wreck of a pause screen. Let me get a little screenshot of that. This is, this is a pretty good one right there. Wait, whoa. Oh. <laughs> Better looking than 90% of YouTube. <laughs> Ah, perfect. Ads are over. All right. So then uh, that was my, my day. And then I, I, I was editing. I'm editing these vlogs. We went to this cultural center. Excuse me. Hold on. Hey, t -Lex. Hey, you like peasants. Has Interpol bugged your boob? <laughs> no, but like she's seething. She, like they're both seething when they watch us. Like it's so pathetic. She, she, Didi, uh, Didi tried to say, uh, you don't like it when Sa Sala's name is mispronounced? What about mine? Okay, number one, yours is a white nickname, not a cultural name. Do you not have a brand? Where did you work at C.H. Robinson as a manager for so long? Number two, <clears throat> I like these lists. One, two. Sala did nothing. You did something. Like, you think you're innocent? Are you kidding? Do we have to name a list of all the things you did? Oh, I just hate you for no reason. You and, and Trash Guy for no reason. You never hurt anybody. Hmm. You know you're a piece of crap. First of all, Dee Dee didn't do anything to you. She seduced a single person. She liked it the most. Hmm? If you have a problem with anybody, it should be with Koki. Stop harassing Dee Dee. Stop doxing a place that she hasn't worked at in, what, four or five months now? Yes, you're insane. Insane, Chantal. Okay? They didn't do anything to you. Everything that was done to you was your choice. Because you just kept going back. And once they've been living together for all that time and stuff, you going back there, getting in that mattress, eating the Arby's and stuff, that was you inserting yourself in their relationship. So why don't you fuck off? Just, just leave them alone.
you keep obsessing about me because it's the only time you're going to get 2,000 views. <clears throat> and the only reason you have angel horns on your sides because she salivates at the idea of hating on me every stream. <laughs> it's so pathetic. Do you not know, like what's your life like? Seriously. A loser. TB, number for 11. Who oh, no, TB is there? I know nothing of pamsters, but you should get another one. Captain is separate. Have a, have a, a ginger one named him Ronald. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea, TB. We already got rid of Mary. Ready, set, ready. Whenever he gets really mad to him, he goes, You better check your shovel top. And he like snorts. I told you he snorts when he's like, crazy. Disgusting people. I hate the way she does that now. That hand thing. Shui, shui. Pfft. Pfft in your fucking face, Chantal. The fact that you just accused somebody of, uh, like, what, what, what's the noise? That, that, like, pig noise. Snort? Snort. Yes, that's the word. I forgot the word. A pig sitting there accusing somebody else of snorting is never going to not be funny. It's shui. It's shui. Sh Ooh. <laughs> Why does that get so deeply on my nerves? Brittany. <laughs> Brittany, you don't have to announce everybody you support. It's like, totally whatever. <laughs> don't worry, girl. And he's talking about their history right in front of Dee Dee. And Dee Dee's just like, yeah, she's like all involved as a side character. He even interrupts her. She's like, eh, and he's like, eh. <laughs> yes, never. Ew, if you said that, he threatened Sala. Mm. Well. <clears throat> Brittany, it's all good, man. I've got time stamps because you're... If he threatened Sala, uh, it was because of what Chantal had said the other day. I would imagine Chantal was talking about how, uh, like, Sala's going to beat his ass. Wait till he gets to Canada and blah, blah, blah. You say something like that and then you have a problem with somebody replying that hey i'm a crackhead i've been to jail for two years i could whoop the shit out of your soft-handed fake husband no girl got time girl sip hit me up seriously hope you do because they're a psycho my son by the way i guess he's going to canada's got talent oh so my god thank you, at the end of the day <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was it? I thought she was going to actually try and do something there. Nope. Nope. Not even. America's Got Talent. What? I mean, sorry. Canada's Got Talent. What? Leave it. I'm going to learn to cruise it, man. So I can do a music accompaniment for my songs. Man, Spacer, hey. I'm going to DM you on IG. Oh, oh. Okay, girls. I appreciate it. I wish I could like just give people my login to do the reporting for me. <laughs> mm. The timestamps are awesome. God, she's so lazy. <clears throat> so I didn't take you out today. <laughs> he, he always asks me to go with him, but sometimes I just let him go with Morav. Do his bad thing. Uh, honestly, I'm such an introvert. Like, I'm going through a phase where I just want to like eat. I don't know why. <laughs> So he's going out with Morad. Mm -hmm. You don't want to go. You're such an introvert lately. And you're going through a phase while you that you just want to eat. And you say that as if that's a new phase. Ma'am, I've been watching you for seven years. This is the phase. This is what I've been watching for seven years. Now, why would she be wanting to stuff her face even more on her honeymoon in the last, what, she's got three weeks left to spend with her new husband? Wouldn't you be trying to spend every day with him, go here and there and do as much as you could together? You just want to sit and stuff your face because you're not getting anything else stuffed. Wah, wah. I probably need therapy or something. No kidding. Is this the pack mentality has to go. It's kind of gross. I appreciate at least one person being on my side. And that might all be all it takes. It is a pack mentality. And that's what um, people quote Jason take advantage of. They're going to have a big hater base. 
no matter who it is, no matter what lies they make up about us, it's gonna be followed because people hate me so bad. <laughs> Let's all just get along. <clears throat> Uh, speaking of clout chasing yo mama, <laughs> that just reminded me, um, yo mama has his lips so, so far up Chantal's asshole that I think the shit is starting to get into his brain because yesterday on his stream, um, from what I understand, Lord knows I didn't watch, but I got messaged about it a bunch of times. I was accused of being the person. I apparently said that Chantal essayed Pete's. What? Bitch, what? Never. I never said that. Okay? You find me anywhere that I said anything, even on that topic, I'll give you what you want. Okay? Talking about clout chasers. Yo, mama, get your head out of your ass, moron. If you want to jump in this and you want a piece of this, do a little research. I don't know. If I can, don't be throwing out things like that and wondering why everybody thinks you're dumb as fuck. Oh, but Salah had this car. How did he drive him? Who said he had to sell his car? He just actually, he, um, his car's paid for, so. It's not like a brand new one, but so what? No, that's right. I didn't even mention it at all. You know what the plan had been? Because now it's been coming up uh, since, what, yesterday? As a topic of conversation, right? This The incident of her allegedly essaying Pete's and stuff. The plan was, I went and found the edit on Just Saying's channel of the Pumped Up Kicks video. Tomorrow at noon Eastern on Twitch, same time as today, we were going to re-watch the Pumped Up Kicks edit. And the incident of the alleged SA attempt is in that video and i thought let's watch it again and we'll decide for ourselves what really happened in that video i was with i was by myself for a couple hours but i fell asleep i went in bed took my neck pillow put the ac to 22. sometimes this all wakes up in the night <laughs> i go get him another blanket though anyway I, I was like editing and one part in the science museum was so dull that i'm not kidding um, one of the behind the scenes. Okay, we went to a cultural center. <clears throat> I've always liked doing these museum things. When I'm feeling in shape, the night before I binge on a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm like, oh no, I'm going to have a hard time walking around six Listen, and that's fine. There's a reason I've never mentioned that dumbass and all the stupid shit he says before, right? Uh, because, yeah, he's in it for the troll. He's definitely in it for the coins. You know, do your thing. I don't care, you know. But don't be throwing out things like that. Oh, FFG is the one who accused her of SA. You've gone too far with that bullshit and you will be called out on that bullshit. And, you know, when, once you get on someone's radar of calling out, now now I just don't like you. Now you've crossed a certain line. So every time you cross any line, I'll be there to call it the fuck out and somewhat try and wreck your little attempted entry into this community. Don't cross fucking lines. Just stick to your trolling. It didn't have to be that deep museums today so i could just feel it okay it's not funny but i'm just being honest like you know i'm struggling a bit i go through phases i gotta get a grip anyway it doesn't matter where you go in the world your problems will follow you i know this so there's six museums the lady's like it'll take 30 minutes each museum no 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 kuwait does everything big like bigger and better you see the architecture and everything each museum takes like at least an hour or two like <laughs> it's like a full-blown museum we only managed to do three or four and i'm gonna make it three videos because they're too long so i'm trying to edit out all the really educational crap because i don't know you guys would care and you know about carbohydrates and brain neurons and all that stuff so just like really funny stuff i guess i'm trying to make it funny so i'm really trying to edit hard to make it more interesting for you guys and um but behind the scenes like what i edit out we do have a really good time <laughs> and laugh a lot when we're at these museums excuse Wait, that, oh, wait, 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 she, she did not just say, the stuff that she edits out of her videos is the fun stuff, is where they're actually having fun, actually laughing, actually where you might see some of a personality. You purposely edit that out, but you leave in just the boring shit? Yeah, no, the, that makes total sense. You guys don't know what goes on behind the scenes. He's really interesting and really fun behind the scenes, but I choose to edit all that out. So you just think he's really boring and not into me. Uh-huh. 
Sure. <laughs> I get really mad at him. I prefer hanging it with sand. <laughs> so it's true that you two weren't married legally by one point. No, we're married. We're married. I, I'm, I'm clean, so I don't have my ring right now. It's in the room. I don't want to open the door because when I open the door, it goes like, yeah. Um, there's many different ways to get married. Um, it is true. If you look up the laws, you need a civil ID, but there's many different types of ways to get around that. Oh. Oh. Oh, there's many different ways to get around that. That sounds like you, you know, playing with the rules of another country. Hmm. Which I learned. So just be patient, guys. Maybe eventually I can share more details. I'm being respectful right now of everything. I just want to keep certain things private about us because even if we did produce some kind of paper to show you guys, well, some kind of paper, like if I showed you, <laughs> you know what I mean? People even if we did produce some kind of paper, what the fuck does that mean? That doesn't sound like a marriage certificate to me. Even if we produce some kind of paper, oof. People are going to say I just produce it and it's not, it's not real. So no matter what I do, I don't like to explain myself, especially for things that are no one's business, like the details of our marriage or whatever. It's not really no one's business, but I understand that I'm a public figure. Blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Why didn't I just do like, I don't know, some kind of content where I don't have to like, but I like talking about myself. Um, Dee Dee or however you spell her name dislikes you is because she knows you know. I'm going to ask for a no contact order. He's just using his platform to abuse me more at this point, verbally. Um, he's abusive with everybody he talks to on his platform. Um, the last time we had- He's using his platform to abuse me? Just don't watch. Like you like to say, if you don't like it, don't watch. Well, if you don't like it, don't watch when he wasn't able to talk about me. I also don't, like when I go back to Canada, he's so unhinged, who knows what he would do, like honestly. He knows where I live and I know, I know you're thinking, oh, he wouldn't do that. He stabbed people, so I wouldn't put it past him. Oh, fucking hell. You don't get to use that now as a thing because for all this time you've used that as like a, yeah, but yeah, but he's a good person and you don't know the circumstances of what happened. Now it's he stabs people. You defended that shit for the longest time, Chantal. Don't try and use that as like uh, something against him now. Yo, mama was right. This guy is facing great charges. And uh, he's worried about Salah and I. Get a life, dude. <clears throat> I explored live stream today talking about me making the same popcorn, putting the grandmother blanket down on the crafted leather couch where Judo stores her purple vibrator, and they talk about us. You need a reality check, buddy, and you need to shut your mouth about me. You don't get that Saul is a real man because he never raised a hand to me ever. Ever. She says that like they've been together 10 years. You've been there exactly, oh, two months and when this was recorded, what, four days? And he's working you for papers. You don't even know this person a little bit. You don't know them until they get what they want from you. The day he has his papers, you'll find out who this person really is. Am I saying he's going to be a woman beating abuser? No, not at all. But she will. she has no idea who he is until that day. In a malicious way. Dude, the amount of times God says salad in the stream alone is diabolical. Good. I can't wait to record it all. Seriously. They're currently raging. Oh, so they're live still? Why do you have time to work at Coldex Independent if you're always live talking about me? Imagine. Imagine you lose your job because of me, according to you. I ruined your life. No, no, no. You ruined your life the minute you shackled up with the Gatno freak loser. That's what you did. 
So Dee Dee can't blame you for the things that's happened to her, but you insist still on blaming the two of them for all the things that happened to you. It works both ways. It's Dee Dee's fault that she got fired and everything that happened to you wasn't done by them. It was done by you. Everybody takes responsibility for their own part of the story, you moron. Come on. Blaming me? Go ahead. If it helps you sleep at night. I'm sure the coughing and pacing isn't helping either. Says the woman who streams all night long. Okay, they got demons. What's yours? Why are you awake all night on your honeymoon instead of cozying up next to your new husband for the next three weeks? Because that's all you have together. <laughs> Stan. Who knows? You know, they're abusive and manipulative. If they did it to you, chances are there are other victims. She just sits there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She's so pathetic. Mm -hmm. You're like 50. Oh, the ads are playing. All right. No fries left behind. We wait. You're like 50. Well, you have the like body age of like, I, I don't even want to give it an age because I feel like it would be insulting no matter what I said. My mom's in her 70s and she can stick and move a hell of a lot better than Chantal can. So what age do you even give? I, I don't know. Saying you're like 50. Well, you're like 90. Fuck. Just saying. Just saying. Um... She has the body age of a blobfish. No. <laughs> yeah, 80s. I was going somewhere with 80s also, you know, I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, but guess 72. It has to be more. That's what I'm saying. My mom is older than that, legit. But uh, I'm, I'm saying my mom can stick and move a shit ton better than Chantal can. Oh, my God. Comes and goes with, like, bags, does her own stuff. You know what I mean? Uh, doesn't huff and puff after coming up a couple of stairs. Not at all the same. Mm -mm. Can tie her own shoes and wipe her own ass. And you're doing this. When do we ever talk about you? When has Sala ever talked about you? Except calling you Chef Hara, which is Chef Shit, and Doo. Huh? Hra. Hra. Chef Ha Ha does not mean shit. Hra. What is the matter with you? Tihamara. Fu. We're not pathetic. And paperclip still applies. If you think you're gonna take an Uber with doo doo to come kick my butt when I'm back in Canada, pizza's got swords. Oh no, Julie, my mom is no olive. I'm only a half olive. My mom is a full ass, like, white lady from Chicago. <laughs> and I know you can think you can beat everyone up. Salah's a three times black belt in kung fu. Just try it. Yeah. Right, T-Lex? <laughs> Maddie loves Tony. <clears throat> you got a Cocker Spaniel? Lady in the Tram. Duchess, aww. That's so cute. Mabaruk, congratulations. Salah and Madge heard PPP match. Yeah, I need to pay off the Kia. <clears throat> Yeah, what's the balance? What's the balance? I like, this is the second time in a couple of days people have told her to pay off the Kia. Uh, Follow-up question for the trolls asking about the Kia. To ask her, what is the balance? I am so curious. <laughs> what could she possibly have left to pay on that Kia? It's got to be substantial enough if she's going like, oh yeah, I got to pay off the balance of the Kia. Like, I'm so curious what it is. Well, I don't know. I mean, I might just wait. If Sala ever does come to Canada, he would have to sell a car. And he will, then I could pay off my Kia. Then we can have the Kia. <laughs> I want to have the one time in my life without having a car payment. Oh my God. Okay, the balance has to be decent enough. He sold the first car, according to Alla, and he bought like a hoopty. Fine. So now she wants him to sell the hoopty. So that they can go to Canada and pay off her hoopty. Uh, it's going to take him time to get there to Canada. How long does she think this Kia still has? <laughs> um, Ma'am, the Kia's on its like last legs. 
we're all surprised that Kia is still like kicking. You know, you know what I mean? You think it's 10 grand she has left to pay? Oof. Oof. Wasn't the Kia on its way out before she left? Yeah. She killed, in my opinion, killed what was left of that Kia on those four time a week back and forth trips to Montreal. She gets no maintenance ever on that car. She was, do you remember when they finally had to change the tires? Do you remember the guy had said they could see the wires sticking out of the tires? So if that's any indication of how badly she maintains that car, ooh, I was just waiting. I used to say, okay, to carry that, that expressway that she would, you know, as you were like arrive into Montreal. So you, she would come down to carry every time we in Montreal, we, we would all have our fingers crossed that she was going to break down the Kia on the Dakari Expressway. Oh my God. That would have been the best content we ever fucking had for Chantal. Because let me tell you, nobody would have stopped to help her. Nobody. And that traffic, like people are nuts there. She would have been so fucked down in the pit of Dakari. It would have been mwah, content. Yeah, that, that Kia is not going to be around. She should be worried now to pay off the Kia before the P, the, the, the Pia, <laughs> the Kia goes to a scrap yard. You should be already saving up money for your next car, girl. But I always have high interest in the car. It's always shit because I overspend. Lift beyond my means. I swear money burns a hole in my body. The solid is the opposite. Like he's, he's paper. He's, he's so good with money. I have one more property, and then I'll stop eating for now. What was that? That was such a good side build. Oh my god. <laughs> Gross, they all are. And then re. I think you and Juicebag love each other still. I don't know where people get that idea. Seriously. No, I disagree. When people say Chantal and Koki love each other still, it's like, where have you been for the past year and a half? Chantal still loves Koki. Koki never loved Chantal. Koki can't get views at all. He tried without talking about Chantal. Then he took a big internet break because it was so not worth it. Then he came back straight out of the gate raging about Chantal. It's about the money. Actually, I can say I never did love, love it. The person I had feelings for was not, not the person I, he revealed to be at all. So I was naive and stupid. Take responsibility for that. But the minute that Sam's Bar Lounge video came out, confirmed everything, and I saw behind their scenes, oh my god. That was it for me. <laughs> I mean, no, I still had issues, and you know I still try to contact after a while. Um, unfortunately, when people do want you, those feelings don't just dissipate right away, but they do. Man, meeting Sala, I swear, he's my good karma for going through that. If I compare how I felt the last time I saw it, him, driving around Montreal, motel metros, ugh. That doesn't exist here. Well, I mean, as far as I know. Girl, the debauchery that exists there, you you have no idea. Uh, the, the vibe, though, of that apartment gives very much motel metro. When you did that, ho that house tour, we commented about how that air conditioner hole actually reminded me exactly of Motel Adam, which was the same thing as those motel metros dump man you're staying in a motel metro well, i'm just saying with a fake husband now ugh, rolling around montreal ugh. and she says ugh, but notice how she goes right to eating because in her mind she, she's like crying through her mouth now she she just so wants to be rolling around montreal picking up her cokey going to hotels and stuff that was ugh, her living her best life how gross and sad Never. No. I'm a thousand percent. And the way she's doing this, no, never. As if she's the one who like, I can't do this anymore, Koki. I'm not coming to Montreal anymore. That's not how that played out. We have it all. We reacted to it. I think we were sniping. She was in Montreal a few nights. She had gone to get hotels and she was calling and calling and texting Koki, trying to get him to come, lure him to the hotel. And he was blowing her off. She didn't stop going to hotels with him. He wouldn't come out and play. In love with my husband. 
I saw the like to the point where I don't know how I'm gonna be away from him for like a month or three weeks. It's gonna suck. I look like Julie Andrews with the sound of music. You get it, girl. They talk over each other all the time and you can't understand a word. How many months does the LSR? I don't know, Maddie. Can you do more gravy gullet Lachine voice? <clears throat> what do you want me to say with me? I'll say anything you want me to say in the gravy voice. Turn your comments. Oh, I forgot about TikTok. I hate TikTok already. They play the same, everybody plays the same songs. Hell no, hell no, oh no, 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 no. And they also play, baby, come down, come down. What else do they play all the time? Oh, I hate all the TikTok songs. I hate trends. I basically hate trends. Sometimes I put trend in my tags because I, I don't know, I want to try to get more views or something, but I feel gross when I do it. <laughs> Brittany, yes. What makes you feel more gross? Putting trends in your tags or that struggling out of the tub full of peeps video? That should be what makes you feel gross. The fact that you put a green pea in your mouth, that should make you feel gross, girl. Don't worry about your fucking TikTok tags. I've been wanting CGTR. Yeah, guaranteed. People are already um, hounding Harry and Simon. Do not let this fat loser on your show. I'm going to go on and create a soft story like, for five years, I've been bullied. And then they're going to play the Cuba rage. <laughs> I want processed cheese and crackers. <laughs> Danny. <clears throat> Looks like government cheese. <sighs> Someone like you wanting to eat. I know it was. I was singing at the end of the day. <laughs> and for some reason, Miley Cyrus, the climb kept coming into my head. Really? I never heard that. Hi, Sanella. At the end of the day on Spotify. <laughs> now Trash Bag is saying you begged him a thousand times to marry you. Mm, okay. Listen. That was then, which is irrelevant because you're proving yourself. Oh, 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 trash bag says you begged him a thousand times to marry you. Yeah, okay. When you say yeah, okay, that's saying like what the person's saying is a lie. And then in the next breath, it's like, that was a long time ago. <laughs> so you're confirming to us that you absolutely begged the crackhead a thousand times to marry you and then drove over to people's at Plast Orleans to buy yourself the Jafar ring. Got coked out of your mind. Asked him, please take f engagement photos with me. He did the coke, but then said no to the pictures. So you went and posed with one leg up in that weird, weird, weird way you did. Again, no park, high out of your mind, in uh, like legs exposed in the winter, in the snow, taking your solo engagement shots. <gasps> wow. It's to be a piece of crap since then, right? So, yeah. What, what is, where, how is that even a flex? Somebody I cared for and somebody I thought was reciprocating that, but actually, in actuality, was giving me diseases and, and abusing me and, and cheating on me when I'm bad. That's why when people STD shame, it's like, dude, I did not sleep with another person while I was with him. He was the one who con contracted that, probably the porch lady. I mean, or somebody. Oh my God. Ew, do you think Dee Dee, the pregnancy test was Dee Dee's? When I asked him that, he's like, come on. Dee Dee doesn't have, Dee Dee's so old, she can't get pregnant. Oh, dude, dude, the shit talking your lover did to you about you. You have no idea. Why is that shit talking? Isn't she in her 50s? Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, like most people in their 50s can't get knocked up. That's not shit talk. That's just facts. If your facts hurt, Chantal, it doesn't make it shit talk. Uh, what the fuck? Oh, I'm sure he did about me too, without a doubt. I'm not done. Oh, she's 47? Okay, like potato, potato. <laughs> yeah, stuck in the past. Um, I'm asking respectfully what this is all where to sleep. It depends on the way he falls. He, he's, one of the, I'm, he's one of those men who just fall asleep, like, right after. You know? Or like just like right when they're tired and like they can just fall asleep. What? He's one of those men that falls asleep right after? <laughs> right after what? Right after the Jim Carrey movie ends? Right after more rad leaves? <laughs> right after what? Because I know that's not what you meant, girl. Why, what are you lying about now? <laughs> so, um, fall asleep right after they're tired. So, if he's wearing his sweater and pants, usually around the house just like something comfortable. Um, yeah. Me, when I get off live or come in the house, I, everything's coming off. That's for sure. At least, like, I put on PJs or something comfortable as well. <laughs> I 
already was going to get Chantal to be a witness for him. It was a video file somewhere. You don't want to do that. JKK, does Father sell his car? No. I mean, we'll be driving around in it soon, you'll see. Does his father hate you? No. But his father wasn't as a, is, uh, taking more convincing to be approving of our relationship. Holy shit, Bambi, is that true? That's so fucked. <laughs> really? Wow. Oh my god. Because he's a more tra traditional Muslim. In my past with only only fans and everything, you know. But um, you know, Salah has an open mind. Salah's been living on his own for two years and doing his thing, and that's like not common really um for younger men to do before marriage. Well, I was like 30. So his sisters they love me. They've taken me out and I have them on WhatsApp. They're awesome. Um he's got four lovely sisters, all very smart women. One's like a pharmacist, um the others are teachers, like they're very smart women. Um and they love you, according to you. Okay. Because according to his friend, Alla, the family hates your guts. And I'm going to believe the family, like the, the, the friend on this one, because why wouldn't they? I mean, just, just come on. Just give it. But his father's still respectful. And yeah. Oh yeah, what was your other question? Can you gargle cheese? Oh, I don't have any liquid cheese, sorry. Maybe lemon. How do you feel that she got like twice as many views having gotten her this night? Are you going to <sighs> Sorry, I have to I mean, she's always been getting them. I mean, like I said, um, she gets double the views when she's talking about me versus Dory Devin, which yeah, she still gets more than me. But her- At least she's admitting it. I get double the views of Chantal, unless I'm talking about Doherty Dozen. But even doing Doherty Dozen, I'm getting more views than Chantal. So Chantal, instead of lashing out, shouldn't that tell you that it, I don't want to say it doesn't have to do with the topics. Because I mean, if I sat here talking about like, I don't even know, what's the most boring thing? Whatever, paint paint drying, uh, maybe, you know, it wouldn't be. However, if you find anything riveting to talk about or find a way to make something into riveting content, it doesn't have to be about you. It could be about anything. That's what you should be noticing there. But you don't. Her channel's peaked at like 22K subscribers. Nobody will watch her. A week ago, she said that the channel had peaked at 20K. And then somebody was like, oh, she just got 22K. And she's like, oh. So now, two days ago, she goes, her channel has peaked at 22K. Last night, we hit 23K. So thanks, everybody, for 23K. Unless it's for me. So I don't want to say about that. She has open chats. People can hate freely there, except on her. She'll block people like a coward who come and support me. Um, she blocks all of them. <laughs> that is a lie. I don't know why she keeps saying that. Salad has never been blocked on any of the channels. Shalid had never come and left a comment. She said, oh, I deleted his comment. Nope. Nope. I would have loved to go back and forth with the citizenship buying little beach. Okay. He didn't have the balls to come over and leave a comment or anything. Come into the chat, Salad. Come and say something in the chat. I highly encourage it. You will not be blocked. You'll get a fucking mouthful, but you won't be blocked. So... Doesn't really but honestly, what bugs me is that YouTube lets like let her get away with being a hateful piece of crap lady, and she gets uh, it's monetized, and she can just steal my content to use it against me. I don't like that. No, absolutely, and I'm gonna keep fighting, but I'm just doing it. There's no point in doing it publicly. Like I'm, I'm really learning the value of like I haven't learned it yet. I'm trying to learn the value of like. Right, bees of beauty, I girl, I know you get it. What what's the fun in blocking straight ass? I enjoy the verbal decimation. I live for that shit. It's part of the fun. You get to unleash on someone. And I don't like this guy now. See, this little bot bitch, bot bitch who can't even buy a citizenship properly, uh, had the nerves to talk about my dogs. I swear, marhaba, come into the chat. Come into the chat. I enjoy the, the sparring back and forth. I unmodded every single person on this channel. Do you guys remember when I flipped out? Like, I only put mods back on because everyone was like, oh, can I have my wrench back? And honestly, um, I enjoyed it with no mods. <laughs> I could fight all day. I, I don't know. I'm sick like that. Work in silence with certain things. I just piece dragging your new hit single. He's never supportive. When I heard her song, I cried in the beginning. Some corny like, really, Brittany? You like my song?
maybe. Uh, but anyway, you get a motorized scooter in museums. Oh, I wish. Actually, I made that comment to Sala. I feel like a big fat baby sometimes. Um, the freaking mo- uh, freaking ads are running. I like no mods too. No mods is fun. It's and again, and I'm, I don't mean this to shit on like the YouTube mods. I appreciate the modding. I, do, I don't mean this like, you know what I mean in terms of you guys, but just in terms of like the free for all. Yeah, maybe you have to leave a couple of mods, I suppose, because if like the bots come in or something, somebody has to be able to do it. I'm always, I, I'm chronically what forty minutes behind on the chat. I get that. Fine, right? But, but. In terms of like when people come in to fight with me and stuff, I see the messages. I have the two chats going. I see on my side chat that somebody has blocked them and I can see which one has been blocked them. But then on my stream yard, it doesn't block it. So I just scroll back and I can see what they said. I I like the fighting. You know what I mean? And y'all block so fast. Like I, I don't get to fight. And that that's it. The, the, the day that I flipped out, I'm just like, nah, nah, nah. Y'all are not going to start blocking. I want to fight, 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 fight. Sometimes I'm in the mood. We, we had, you saw me in the video go upstairs that one time I almost died. Then we went to another museum and there was even more stairs. And it was like all pterodactyls upstairs. And we wanted to go see and I was like, Oh no, no. At the minute we came in the museum, I saw the stairs. I warned him right ahead of time. I went, no, I'm not going up those stairs, by the way. You can take my video, my phone and, and video the pterodactyls. But <clears throat> come on, whether you like to fight or not, you have to admit it's really fun when one of the enabling VI idiots comes into the chat and starts like, mm, why don't you get your own content? Why are you such a hater? Why are you so mean to Chantal? She's trying. Like, c- come on. That is fun. That's like someone sets you up for it. Like, and boom, block. Come on. Like, leave them be. Let me fight. No. See, when I, I don't know. Like, when I'm going to my, like, I walked to Elshaki Park. I walked for hours and hours. But sometimes, like, I don't, I'm not in the mood. I walked for hours and hours. It's winded it. eating a stack of crackers. But I walked hours and hours. Absolutely haters would have believed anything anyway. Let them cry about it. Exactly, Naomi. People are going to call me a liar no matter what. It's hard to believe you didn't have a wedding cake. It was. It's not a traditional wedding. Like, we just made it a legal thing and very, very basic, but it wasn't very easy to do. Um, we had to go through some locals, which in Canada probably wouldn't be possible. I like going places where the law is flexible. <laughs> anyway. Um, I like places where the laws are flexible or I can bend the laws anyway. Wow. We had to play through some loopholes. That's not haram at all. No, no, no. Uh, And in Canada, it could have never been done. Bless Canada. No, no, no. Um, Just being vague on purpose because there's people who just think I'm a liar no matter what I do anyway. You know, um, like people were like, I saw a short video from the reaction channel. They just like, they, they really just reach for anything and say I'm seething over things that I'm like, in, I'm laughing at on video. He's still talking about you still. Like right now, that's pathetic. Because he will be prime suspect. Mark my words, if I get murdered, you know where to look. Actually, there's a lot of people who hate me, so. Girl, yeah, I was going to say, if you think Koki would be willing to go back to jail for you, I I don't believe that, and I can't stand the guy. If anything would ever happen to Chantal, it would be like the biggest game of Clue ever on this planet Earth. His name's already freaking RCMP better be on the top of their job. The popcorn, oh, I'm so behind, hold on. Where was he leaning on, hi. And on the other hand, not even, because who the hell would be willing to take any kind of charges for her? Ugh, fuck a charge. I wasn't even worth bail money for the y- girl. You're not worth it for anyone. No, 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 no. Pete's. Ooh. Mm. Pete's someone in the family. It would be like a, a that close to home type of a thing. No one else gives a damn. No one else cares that much. You know what I mean? Hi. Does Sal have any brothers? Yes. I think two. But I think they're married. Oh my god, it cost. Okay, anyway. Sala is so hot. Whenever you said, does he have any brothers? I was either insinuating that he's good looking. And sometimes I just look at him and he's like, what? Are you, what? <laughs> I just want to stare at you creepily because you're so good looking. 
through my research, what the heck I said yesterday, in order to get married by law, both of you would need a Kuwaiti resident card. Um, actually, VI peasant, there are ways around that. And a Kuwaiti resident, it's not a Kuwaiti resident, you need a civil ID. So um, like what Salah has, you have to be registered. Usually you get a civil ID from um, your company, your business, or um, somewhere you work, your employment. I'll catch up with the comments, don't worry about it. I'm going to be online for a little while. Okay, okay, okay. Let's just all take this part in well. So she just said that that's what Salad has. Salad only has this civil ID that you get from like a workplace or something. Okay, so that's pretty much her confirming that he's not a Kuwaiti citizen. Great. Everybody kind of knew that, right? Uh, but nice to hear it from her. So she got whatever same kind of card that Salad has. Interesting. You can't, you, uh, so he could register me on his business and get me a civil ID pretty quickly. <clears throat> um, there's also different ways around it, like in a Muslim way, but we're keeping it vague. I don't want to give people details because um, I don't want to tell the route we exactly went. Um, but there's lawyers and there's like, you can even appeal to the judge um, to marry you despite not having a civil ID. Like there's ways, there's loopholes you guys have, but you are right. Okay. So she got that ID card. And then she just said there's ways in a Muslim way. So she got the ID card and they probably had just a religious, that like temporary religious wedding. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. If that's real, because I'm skeptical. I know nothing about this stuff, but just because it's coming from her, hmm, I'll stay skeptical. Interesting. Is that legal? Is that marriage considered legal no doesn't sound like it what happens now okay so she's gone to kuwait with this um visa okay when she goes home if she goes back to kuwait would she have to enter with a visa or with that card that he got her the next time she goes into kuwait would she be able to stay longer than three months because it's under the like preface that she's working at his company. Oh, I don't freaking know. Hmm. Interesting. Right. Technically, yeah. It does say that you need that. <laughs> but we, yeah, no. Hey, Flex Chaos. Hey. Better late than never. Hi, Helene. Do Natter and Jade, aka YP, work at McDonald's together. I've never seen YP talk. Oh, Natters. He would look like. Oh my god, did you ever see the episode of Visa? Oh, Julie, watched? thanks for the tea, girl. If she has the ID, she can stay and doesn't need a visa. Hmm. Who the heck do you think you're calling Buffalo? Like, do you not see who you're living with? And anyways. <clears throat> Look at him. Ugh. You ruined her life, yet she still continues to instigate. Yeah, this is a hard lesson for you, honey, but you loved it the most. I don't know you really do. The only okay, hold on. Something just crossed my mind. This might be, psh, but again, I know nothing about these things. So now I'm just going to theorize. What if, do you remember before Chantal left to go to Kuwait for, I'd say about a month, even a, longer than a month before she left, she was talking about things like um, investment opportunities. Do you remember that? Okay. What if this plan had been hatched when, like all the way back then. And she sent him money. Maybe he didn't have a company. At the time, he apparently had a job. You remember she kept saying job. What if she sent him money to invest in that fucking bootlegging perfume thing with Murad or start that thing? I don't I don't know how long it's been going on, but let's say it's an, an investment to become a partner in that. Okay. So boom, there's what she's calling her investment. And a way for him to be a business owner and thus make her this card when she gets to Kuwait. The one who does. Oh, my battery's gonna die. Which means I have to go into the room. Which means possibly waking him up. Sharon, thank you, Sharon Eubanks. They sleep on the couch so they don't miss anything. And I don't wanna miss a thing. Cause whenever I don't talk about you, and only make my shit chef stew. If buddy watches me, I get no views. Ooh, that's also a really interesting point. Missing mimic. Hmm. 
Can he own a business if he's not Kuwaiti? I don't know. Maybe Julie knows this answer. Maybe Google could give us this answer, but maybe that's why he's not the sole owner. Maybe that's why he's like an investor maybe with this, this other guy. Maybe the other guy is Kuwaiti. Who knows? Hmm, that's interesting though. probably looking at this TV screen with spittle right now. Yeah, I know you are. Yeah, unless you hire bar and for what? To support a grown man? <laughs> Call Mike Bees. <laughs> no, ugh. That whole trash situation I want nothing to do with. I killed two flies today with my bare hands. <laughs> she was warned by her employer and got Okay, hold on. I went to Google. We got some answers. <clears throat> Google says... Can a foreigner own a business in Kuwait? One of the major rules in setting up a business in Kuwait is that the foreigner must have a Kuwaiti partner. The Kuwaiti partner holds at least 51% of the business. The foreign direct investment law number eight slash two zero zero one allowed foreign companies to incorporate as Kuwaiti companies without having a Kuwaiti partner. Then that law has been changed. So that actually, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I bet you that Morad guy is Kuwaiti, or maybe they even have another partner. How, how do we know there's even two? Maybe there's a third partner. Somebody in the mix is Kuwaiti and would own 51% of the company. A three-day suspension then got caught again after she signed papers. But I'm responsible because my trolls, she doesn't even know who ruined it for her. Dude, you're online, okay? You're simping for one of the biggest online predators that everyone fucking hates. Even more than me, that's impressive. Except for angel horns. <laughs> your, your name is so ironic. It's so funny. <laughs> it's actually true. That's the irony. Not, not that you're trying to be funny. It's the irony that is true that you're a devil for supporting someone like this. Anyway. Ah, Murad is also Syrian. Okay, that's really interesting. So they must have a third partner. So, th okay, if the, the partner owns 51%. They each have 20 something percent each. That's really interesting. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. You had your whole name in the chat when you came. No, Allah is not. Hold on. We're doing too many pauses. Hold on. Allah is also not Kuwaiti. Allah said that he was half Syrian, I believe, and half um, Egyptian. Oh, I love your shrimp the most. You don't even like shrimp. Anyway, <laughs> so you don't think that people are just going to call? Like, it's ridiculous. I'm not torturing viewers with his singing skills. Chantal's improving and clean and they're pissed about it. Stay mad. Stay mad and sad. <clears throat> Pete's sword moment. I'm sure that's about your face. Yeah, he doesn't have one and is living off of doo-doo. He doesn't see it. He actually believes he's better than Salah. Okay, how are you better than Salah when... Yeah, you don't even pay room rent. He pays his rent here. Oh, yeah, we understand that. They have to have, a, like, by Kuwaiti law, they have to have a third partner. You're not going to win with me. You two are not going to win anything, except, I don't know, I guess you'll be buying his ramen in prison. Oh, no, he liked chicken Tuesdays. Chicken thighs. He used to trade them for chips. Or, no, he used to trade his chips for a chicken thigh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I've been watching Evan and I don't actually dislike anyone. I judge for myself, not by what others say. <laughs> Should shave your head. Don't know what hairstyle is supposed to be. Barney Rubble, greased comb over of the jean. These are bees. What could be very important here? What do you mean? <clears throat> Whoops. What font? Hold on. Oh my God, y'all imagine Sala and Adam meeting in the villa. No, no, no. Sala would fight fair. Tur would uh, get a knife out of the kitchen. Probably that pink red one and try to threaten him that way. But. That's not a real man move. Agreed. Pulling out a knife is never a real man move. But I do believe that even like just hand to hand, like equal, no, no knives, Koki. No knives. Koki could fucking destroy salad. I, I think so. He would run for his life. <laughs> he got into a fight once in Gatineau. And I was at home and uh, I didn't know he got in a fight. He called me for sympathy because I was mad at him and he was trying to like get me to go over. And he used to do this. He used to try to manipulate me with things like, I'm not feeling good. I think I'm having a heart attack. And I was like, what do you want me to do? <laughs> One time I'm like, well, what do you want me to do? And he's like, are you fucking kidding me? You don't even care. Anyway, 
and he held that over my head forever. You don't even care that I was having a heart attack? Well, stop the coke then. Real speed. And your Cialis bottle. How about that? Oh, okay. Trying to act like she wasn't into it. But at the time she told us how she, it turned her on when he got into a fight. I remember that. Don't change the story now, weirdo. Anyway, so he was like, he sent me a picture on, on uh, I don't know, I think messenger. He had scraped arms and scrapes all over his body. Oh my God. I would have loved strawberry perfume when I was like nine or like 11. And like he was slammed on the ground and he's trying to say that he fell. So I'll kick your ass, buddy. Did these desperate girls try to contact Salah like Didi did? Rosie, this, this man is amazing. He has about 2,000 uh, requests on Instagram since I met him October, beginning of October. He's, he sends me screenshots like he hasn't accepted one request, not one. And um, yeah. He doesn't talk to me. Oh my God, she thinks that's a flex. Oh my God, he really loves me. He hasn't even accepted one. Hmm girl pay purse pay purse he wants his papers he's not fucking this up he's not pulling a cokey cokey already had status to anybody but me <laughs> oh my gosh she's so dumb <laughs> making that face and like that <laughs> voice <laughs> what a fool let me talk to you about Salah. no well i mean i Told him what I was doing like before I came here, and now just contact basically about the like mutual things, <laughs> like things that we still have connections from when we were, we were together, like financial or something like that. <clears throat> or like, do you know where this is? You know what I mean? Something like that. That's my morning show. It makes me appreciate Chantal more. It makes me laugh. I just want to make you guys laugh. I don't try to, but I guess it happens. Not a contest. Contest, yeah. Oh, Brittany, just bitching about it. <laughs> How is your mental health? Do you mentally feel better? I do. Yeah, but I still struggle like with eating too much. Please don't delete this live because I want to watch it later. Oh, no problem, Mama V. Honestly, I, like <laughs> they talk about me way more. So I have the right to vent too, I guess, huh? You miss the old Someone says, please leave up this live. I want to watch it later. Oh, I will. Don't worry. Yeah, it's it's been deleted. Maybe Halloween. He's some type of creature. Okay, I'll talk about something else. So they have orange shoe, I've been quite we hate Gargamel. No, Stan, they don't. You won't be lonely because you'll have Pete's with you all the time. Where, in Canada? No, I'm not going to be. <laughs> I'm going to miss Salah. Say, say, sorry, John Bell, no me. Let's talk about Harry. Back in his house. The Idaho stabbings. What's going on with that? $50 loyalty. Whatever. I mean, she's a huge bully. I don't know how people can support that, but... I'm not everybody, so I don't like both sides. I'm not a fan or hater. I'm not a little shit. Bully, bully. Stop saying bully. You're almost 40 years old. You're an, <laughs> I don't know. If, you, if you're going to make these shitty life choices on the internet, you can't call this bullying, girl. Stop. It is funny when it's cool, though. There's nobody for it. Uh, why does that sound like a bull? <laughs> Gia, you gave her two bucks. Sit down. When I heard the song title, I thought it was a live song to go over because he always says that in his vids. At the end of the day, oh, does he? Ew. <laughs> Give me money instead. Since being there, Hootie, is it easier to get out of bed because your anxiety went down? Yeah, for sure. For sure. I don't have trouble getting out of bed, but. It's easier getting out of bed since being in Kuwait because her anxiety went down. Now she just doesn't get into bed. She streams all night long. It's easier to get out of bed when you never get into it. I feel sluggish these days because I'm just being fat and lazy. Ew, I don't know. These days. Talk about your present and future. Yes. Hi, Norma. After, right after laying the pipe, can you address why D2 called you Kool-Aid gal? Because she's dumb and pathetic. I need to make a pathetic part two for her. Are you honestly going to look shamey? Like, seriously, have you seen it? Like, I can be 800 pounds and still be more um, wanted in every way than you. Every way. The reason that you had to steal someone, like, or you had to steal, please. I dropped him off and left him at your house. <clears throat> to the point where she was my god she didn't drop him off you were valeting him back and forth but uh to act like you like left him to dd girl stop it dd swooped in and liked it the most but she swooped in on a very single person so there's nothing wrong with that okay um and yeah i think dd and anyone else anybody on this planet earth can look shame chantal okay chantal i really don't know is it the narcissism 
that she thinks she's good looking? Is this what happens when, when again, mothers just tell you from birth, like everybody's jealous of you, cutie, you're so cute, cutie. Or is that a way that maybe certain people appease fat little girls? I, I don't know. I never had anyone appeasing me this way when I was a fat little girl, but telling you like, your face is so cute. You have such a pretty face. Girl, if all of that, they were lying to you. He was even crying. I'm going to tell everything, da, 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 read between the lines. Just biggest liars, both of them. And they lied to all of you and you still support that loser. <laughs> uh, love that for you. <sighs> so yeah, being looked shamed by Barney Rebel doesn't affect me whatsoever. I actually laugh. I want to start driving her. Seriously. This is her when she looks at the camera. Okay, not on this pause. This is just a funny pause. But um, in my opinion, like just just based off of the features alone, right? We're going, we're going from the face. We're not talking about the body. She thinks she has a very pretty face. She's got weird puffy eyelids. She's got a five head. Or should we start from the top? Let's start from the top. No hair, five head, puffy eyelids, bulbous nose big um what do they call rosacea cheeks ugly lips and five chins that's top to bottom you find me what's what's the beauty in it i don't know looking at her comb over <laughs> i can't wait to drive i can't wait to drive yeah i kind of miss driving a little bit driving into nowhere drive through the drive through I don't miss anything. I miss Connor's pot pie. Oh, let's go boil some corn. Is it 5 a.m.? Oh, yeah. It's like 5 a.m. <laughs> let's go boil some corn. What the fuck? She's like this. <laughs> Did you see that picture I posted of her? Where she's like... Look. How horrifying. <laughs> she talks talk all freaky and her chin wobbles. But I'm chinny. Right. If that's not projection from her and her audience, brain dead zombies, I don't know what it is. Take off the chin spanks and show us your waddle, waddle. You're right. I did forget about the, the half mouth full of teeth and the uh, herp on the lip. Right. Brittany's like, she seems nice, but I don't watch her. She's so normal, but I just don't know how those, those people are in FFG's life. She's so nasty and not even funny either. I know, Jenny. Uh, because they're dumb. It's mob mentality. It's like, like psychology 101. Like people are very easily manipulated. It's really weird. Says the woman that we literally have on camera saying something like, I'm going to manipulate the fuck out of all of you and you're going to uh, forget all about it or whatever. I forget how she worded it, but you remember what I'm talking about in the Cuba rage. You're calling someone else manipulative? Girl, you can say a lot of things about a lot of people. You can say a lot of things about me. Manipulative is not one of those things. I'm like too real. Mm -hmm. It's like the opposite. You're manipulative. You have admitted it yourself. Stop projecting, weirdo. It's flooding here in the Bay Area and everything is closed down. I'm praying my husband gets home safe. Oh, blocks me too. I will definitely pray for your husband. That's right. And you're going to eat it up. Thanks, guys. That was it. <laughs> Alex. <laughs> I've heard it on Alex's face today. What I discussed with OG, I don't understand. <clears throat> I clipped this for the RCMP later. Yeah. <laughs> You're allowed to have your own brain, Brittany. We just don't understand how your brain can listen to so much vile hatred towards somebody and just be okay with it, I guess. Or how so many people can be like that. And listen to the cackling, like the nasty, smoky voice. Ew. You fools. Well, use your brain for once, Chantal. If you can't figure out why so many people would be interested in that, maybe it's because that's not what we actually do. Vile hatred, blah, blah. No. We discuss your poor life choices all the lies and manipulation. Again, if you don't like what you hear coming over here, it's only because of the content that you give us to work with. Nobody's being vile and, and just fucking attacking and blah, blah. We're, we're working with what you give us. This is a, truly a reflection of you and who you are, but you're the only one who doesn't get that. Say illegal? No, they're legal loopholes, yeah, because the law's not the same here as Canada or US. I can't stand the door he does, and I'm just not cool with how she exposes her kids and their personal lives. It makes me so mad. I don't even know who that is. I hate, I don't like family channels. 
maybe I'll become one someday. No, I'm, not, I'm never going to put my kids online. No, never say never. But, um, Hell yeah. they're all creepy, like weird cultish. And of course, everyone's going to. I was a family channel. People like people always criticize people's parenting and everything they do, like every little thing. They they really reach them. Bitch, you do that to people who don't even have family channels. You have the audacity to talk about that people criticize people's parenting? Oh, my God. Well, Chantal, one thing, you're never going to have a family channel, and thank God for that, because you just told us in the same breath again that you would put the kids online. Girl, psh, never going to happen. Never going to fucking happen. Okay? And, um... We're allowed to discuss the things that those family channels put online just in the same way we discuss you and the crap that you put online. Sometimes, but sometimes they are creepy. But I don't know who the Dorothy Dozen is. Hey, Lacey. Knock on wood about getting murdered. Okay. Hi, TM. Hey. Envy and hate. They can't be used to hate you. Think so? Oh, Rosie, he is good looking. Don't talk about murder. It's a very big possibility, guys. Okay. It's like we're talking to HR who, okay, hold on guys, basic, basic. I watched your documentary, two girls did the creepy pasta. I saw that, they tried killing their friend. <sighs> yeah. I have to head out to save some lives for the night. <gasps> oh my gosh, well, God bless you, Rosie. My past milk bangs are cold. <laughs> oh no, hopefully not. Okay, I'm, I think I'm caught up, guys. I'm the best person to call during a heart attack. She'll probably feed you penny with extra cheese. <sighs> yeah, I gotta watch my tipper myself. Anyway, that was my rant about those losers. I mean, they still talk about us and rage about us, so I don't know. But Salak is so, he, he's not bothered by trash, like trash bag. He doesn't even have to address him. And we don't watch them. So he's not bothered by the tra trash bag and he doesn't have to address him, but he chose to go on a, like, homophobic, let's call it just just hateful all around rant against him the other day. But no, yeah, totally unbothered. Uh, poison Petit Four. We haven't done that in a while. I forgot about that. We could definitely do another one of those next weekend. We haven't in a while. There'll be all new ridiculous stuff to mock. But I was like, I told him, I'm like, I saw that he was like telling you to like check your VITCH. And he's like, he, didn't, he doesn't see the things that he says because he doesn't watch him. So he just goes like this. Wait. Wait. You don't know what we're doing behind the scenes. What do you mean, wait? That sounds kind of like a threat. So what you're saying now is that the person who's trying desperately to get into Canada is threatening people who are already living in Canada from Kuwait? I don't know if that's such a smart move, Salad. Legally. Yes, I spent time with Salad. We lived together. Sang Monty song. How's it going again? The season's changed. My foot fetish for Salad won't change. As the seasons change, Monty sounds like he's perpetually, or sorry, continually fading in and out of puberty. Like, are they going to drop or not? Oh, I, I hate everyone equally. I love it. <laughs> sorry, God. Hi. Sorry, guys. Okay, I'm here. Salah is a real man. Real men don't get threatened by clowns. Mad dumpster. <laughs> no, yeah. Are you a flock, what the black belt and anything, Stabibi? No, you are not. Oh, Salad happens to be a black belt in something. Does anyone believe that? <laughs> I don't believe that. I, I just, I can't imagine anyone becomes a black belt with those soft looking hands. They, those hands look like they've never even formed themselves into a fist before. And stop bringing up past things as if Salah's gonna care. Actually, Salah told somebody, I think it was probably Turd, uh, sent him, created a troll account or something on Facebook and sent him like uh, photos of us doing stuff as if he's gonna care. It's all past. He's like, anything that happens now is different, but in the past, he would have to be okay with my past to get with me. Like, you don't think I let it, everything out? And not just that, he took a lot of time. He's very doting on what I do online. Like he was very up to date with everything. He's, he knows how to be online. Like he's not uh, dumb like the tour was and couldn't figure out anything, you know? So he knows everything. Everyone has a past. Nobody's perfect. I have to take Murad and his wife.
everybody has a past. Nobody's perfect. Very true. Everybody does have a past, but not everybody has done like struggling out of bathtubs full of peeps videos and, and, and shoving whisks in between your floppy boobs videos and like, girl, listen, a past is a past. And then there's you. I'm just saying, um, certain cultures, olives, probably others, not only <laughs> would, would, how to explain this? A man wants a virgin. I know that's so fucked and like a barbaric way of thinking, archaic way of thinking. But the, listen, if he, this guy is as like traditional and religious and stuff as she's implying, ideally there'd be a virgin to get married to. Okay. Forget not a virgin. Then you could say, well, everybody has a past and he's understanding and he's modern. Da, 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 da. Ma'am, um, I, I don't know what to say more than that struggling out of the tub full of peeps and everything that you were doing on OnlyFans. And I, I just stop it. Just, uh, it doesn't make sense to me that this is the type of person on the one hand accepts all that. On the other hand, expects you to wear a hijab and like, I don't know. It it doesn't correlate. And it screams marriage of convenience. Not that we need anything else to scream it. His friends screamed it for us. It's great. Thanks. Shopping, where did he go? No, we didn't take Murad shopping. He and Murad went shopping. Uh, they, like, he did groceries with Murad. I didn't want to go for <sighs> Just stay home and eat the food. Don't just... I don't know. I don't feel like going to the co-op. And then he told me, I sent him a list and he told me that they didn't have any indomie. It's been like since before Christmas, they don't have any. I'm freaking out. I need a fix. I want to have some corn. Do you guys want to see Harry before I go? Or should I stay home more? It's like local fry mixed with throat infection. It's like I smoke bag cigarettes from like illegal bag cigarettes all day. Like she just sits there like, no, I can't. Yeah, one of the VI idiots talking about me just had something to say about throat infection. And this one's talking about bagged cigarettes and stuff. Girl, shh, shh, shh to the both of you. Because you were buying DeMauriers for the man who gave you the throat infection. Right, Chantal? I've never had one. I'm just saying. <laughs> a bagged cigarette or a throat infection. Bloop. I gotta go get my charger. My belly hurts. I'll be right back, okay? <laughs> Oh my God. Okay. Hi. Uh, the truly important questions of life. Carrie Kent. Shoot. Go for it, girl. <laughs> Y'all ready for some butt stuff on this Saturday? It's Harry, not Henry. I'm telling us not to beat up because he thinks he's so dumb. Well, I'm assuming he did. Is your past really that bad? Not really. Somehow managed not to get any criminal charges, knock on wood. Kuwaiti court. Oh, my stomach. He said he ruled the jail, even the guards. Of course he would say that. We're not to this link. Okay, so the window, do you guys want to see? I can show you. Let my phone charge a bit, and then I'll get Harry. He's under the window. Carrie Kent, it's literally to avoid pregnancies and uh, to then be able to get married and say, I'm a virgin, you know? It's like a weird window to nowhere. And it came with this crinkly paper on it. We just never took it down because we bought a couch that matches. All right. Twix top. I don't know what either. Solo like sweets. I get pickles, he gets chocolate. What? She's eating the snacks for the guests. Ma'am, those are supposed to be for your non-existent guests. You gotta stop eating them on live streams because we already know what's up. Mm, caramel. Hold on. <laughs> Chantal's ex-legal counsel. Hard to be time with 10 people. Enjoy the two bags. Because these people are talking a lot, I guess. I go on tangents, this is why. Does 
something in my teeth. Hold on. The end of the day, the only thing that's gonna matter is how good you were. I'm sure I'll get bad karma for things I've done. Probably already have. Oh, yeah, that's so funny. Fridge full of stolen goods from camping. <laughs> you know, when she told this story, when when um the accusation was thrown at her by her chat about, like, Alice said you took all the water and Kleenex, like, from the camping. She goes, oh, yeah, that's right. We went creeping around to everybody's tent, taking all their water and Kleenex. But in the video of the camping, she pointed out to us that that's the kitchen tent. So wouldn't you have only had to creep over like creepers to maybe one tent, grabbed all the, the drinks in the kitchen tent, and hey, there's that Kleenex, just grab that too, and run off to your cars? You didn't have to go into anyone else's tent. Did you forget that you showed us that kitchen tent? No, I have. Mm -hmm. Yep. That was really good. Anyway. It's stained glass. Exactly. Thick laptop. Pikachu. It's like, no, we ran around to everybody's mini bar and emptied it. There's my lap the laptop here. There's not my laptop, but show us out the window. Okay. Tyler, thanks for the mute. Hi, Lindsay. Brian is a psychopath. Who's bro? Oh. L literally, you know that thing about stealing candy from a baby? She went one worse. She stole water from children in the desert. It's not funny, but it's so, like, that is peak Chantal. Literally. Leave them parched in the desert. What? What happened? They found the killer? We know what you did, yes. Prove it. Prove it. Views are up. Not, not on my... Honestly, I don't even really notice. Like, maybe once or whatever. I don't like... Right? Like, Marvin? Oh. That is next level broke. Or have 600 views, whatever. My filter glitched. How do I get it to glitch on purpose? I have skin texture right now. I have pores. Hi. I'm five foot one. Dot com. No one. Window close up. Okay, hold on. Put it hard to get more. I hope the district attorneys. Ooh, we don't have the death penalty in Canada. We need to do like the YouTube channel Hamsterious. They do themed mazes by movies and videos. Oh my God, Squid Games. Oh, I can never be that creative, Brittany. But I'm gonna bring back some things from Canada that they don't have here for hamster pleasure. And I will get a little pen and set up little obstacle courses, maybe. I wanted to have a happy life. I'm, I was even considering finding him, like, a sanctuary where they have, like, actual terrains. Because I feel bad. He doesn't seem happy. He just looks A sanctuary where they have terrains. A.K.A. I'm about to abandon this hamster. I'm getting bored of this hamster. The hamster's getting abandoned. Guys, she's going to find a hamster sanctuary. You hear that? Remember that when we don't see the hamster when she comes back. Yeah, guys, I told you I was going to find him a hamster sanctuary. The fuck even is a hamster sanctuary? It's a rodent. Once it's outside, it's like any other rat, is it not? Come on, let's just let's just be real. Looks forward to sleeping. I give him fresh bedding every day because he poops in it every day. <clears throat> so I give him fresh bedding. So he looks forward to he hears me come in. Ooh, that's interesting. FFG, do you think the water theft, water theft, <laughs> was his idea or hers? Hmm. Hmm. He comes off as a schmuck too. Very selfish schmuck. Hard to say. I, I don't know enough about him to blame him though. It's, it just sounds like such a Chantal thing to do. Maybe they're both equally schmuck. They went around to the kitchen. They're like, we'll get some water. And she's like, how many should we take? And he goes, all of them. Or he goes, how many should we take? And she goes, all of them. I, it could it could be one. It could be the other. Really, that's a crapshoot. Like in the evening. And I prepare like some hard-boiled egg, some cucumber, some kind of fruit, like mango or apple with those little pellets. Change the water. Spot clean, change the hamsters cannot live in the wild. Oh, I did not know. I thought they were like rodent gang. Where do ham <laughs> where do hamsters come from? I'm so and hamster ignorant. Have they like been like bred too long indoors? They're too uh, uh domesticated, is that why? Because wouldn't it just be like rat like and do rat things? Hmm. 
Yes. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, she better not just release that hamster outside. Is that what they did to the other one? Just let it go outside? No, we brought it to the hamster sanctuary. The bedding, like I give him back the food. And then I put the fresh bedding beside the opening of his house. And then I see him take it. Like he pulls it to make it all nesty. And then he closes the door with it in his hut. And he stays there. It's like boring for him. And then I take him out once or twice a day and like molest him. And then Wow, I had no idea. Like, I, I, I don't know. I figured you put you put a hamster outside, it's just gonna become like a rat. <laughs> Are all the rats rats? I don't know. There might be some hamsters in the gang. I don't freaking know. They all look the same to me. Guinea pigs, no. They're they're too big to be a rat fink. But it's still just a rat fink. It's just a bigger rat fink. But yeah, you know what? Come to think of it, you never seem like a guinea pig just running around outside. There must be a reason. Okay, I guess yeah, like that makes sense, yo. You put a hamster outside around my cat and it's oh. Ooh, new, new. The feral cats will take care of it. Oh, sweet Jesus. Like kiss him against his will. <laughs> or are they live talking about me? Hey, doo doo, how do you like that? Uh, you're both obsessed with me still. Don't react, you're not good at it. <laughs> what do you have to do to be good at it? Do I have to smoke 500 packs of cigarettes a day? Ah, capybara, if that's the thing I'm thinking it is. Is that that thing that kind of looks like a beaver? Because if it is, I put that thing on level with a beaver. We don't have that in Canada, but beaver is like our national animal. <laughs> what? Um, yeah, that's just, that's a bigger rat fink. That's a water rat fink, but it's still a rat fink. It looks like a big rat. It's got that rat fink texture to it, that weird like fur, you know? Definitely large rat fink. Capybaras are giant guinea pigs. Okay, yeah. Then it's a rat fink. Yeah, I would classify it as rat fink still. Because again, like even a beaver, it's not um, at all a guinea pig. But if you think about it, if you put just that weird tail on a guinea pig and gave it big ass teeth, it's also rat fink classification. That's that's like a big guinea pig too. Same thing. Different tail. And call people salad. Is that what I have to do? Be a racist bitch? David, you already... If you combine your wife's viewers and ALR's live viewers, the number eight half of FG, who gives a crap? Who gives a crap, David? Like, <laughs> am I supposed to be affected to the fact that somebody? Yeah, yeah. Ferrets, weasels, also, they're all rat finks. Um, um, what do you call those things? Raton laveur. Shit. I forget how you call that in English. Those are also rat finks in my mind. A skunk is a rat fink. Anything with that texture. He has to talk about me for views? Like, what is the deal? Like, what are you proud of here? That you're part of a mob mentality? Good for you. <laughs> like, it's delusional of anyone to think that anyone is watching these people other than for them ripping on me. When, in fact, what is she ripping on? She's doesn't have the courage in her gullet, in her picky finger, to expose herself or talk about her own life. She tried on her vlog channel and gets 2,000 views. What does that prove to you? I, I've never spoken about myself or exposed my life on a vlog channel. I don't have a vlog channel. I drove around like a maniac at all hours of the day and night to deal with the death of my dogs. It was for a short-lived period of time. If you call that a vlog, then you're vlogging wrong, Chantal. That's not a vlog. Yeah, Chinchilla, Rat Fink. So who's winning? David. <laughs> Seriously. Imagine yes, that's the word. Show. Thank you, Dainty Bagley. A raton laveur is a raccoon. That's the word I couldn't remember. Raccoon? Rat fink also. We have somebody who needed a thousand subscribers before they could spill any tea, and you're not going to question the motive. Same thing with French fry gullet. You're not going to question the fact that she makes money off of talking about me because she has an open chat and allows people to just go there and hate. Nobody gives a crap about you and your side ponytail and your rubber band mouth, other than the carrots being paid out of it, which probably won't be for very long, so enjoy buying your it probably won't be for very long. Shut up. Shut up. YouTube, let your hateful bitch ass come back. I don't know why anyone else should have a problem. And again, talking about my rubber band lips. Girl, look at your husband's lips and talk about who has rubber band ass looking lips. Just saying. And talking about my side pony. Jealous. The jealousy. You know the beauty of the side pony, Chantal? When I take the elastic out of my hair, the scrunchie or whatever... The hair is still attached to my head. <laughs> you jealous? You can do anything with this hair. Um, I don't have to soot it up. I don't have to hide it in a hijab, pretending that I'm playing religion or anything else. Jealous. 
your house with ATAGE, you're not going to be able to pay your mortgage once your channels are taken down. So. <laughs> what kind of a flex is that? You can't even rent a place in your own name. Girl, if I never buy a house for cash, which is my goal, and the whole idea of that is so that there is no mortgage, you fucking moron. Um, if I never am able to buy a house with cash, I'll always be able to rent a place in my own name. Can't relate, can you, bum? I know. You're here watching and giving me money too, exactly. Um, I know. My husband got home safe. Yes, Box Chaos. I'm so happy to hear that. Relief. Still there because of Chantel. Let's face it. Like, let's face it. Mike and his wife show her hair. Um, she's not Arabic or Muslim. She's not Muslim, I should say. So she doesn't cover her hair. Mostly women uh, here I've seen from like India or the Philippines, they don't cover their hair. It's just their own culture. Yes, Maggie. Well, you're not Muslim or Arabic either. And you certainly weren't when you were still sitting in your fucking room in, in uh, Ottawa. So why are you covering your bald head? He, yes, his surgery today, unfortunately. I feel bad for him. Besides, this is like his third surgery in like a year for the same thing, poor guy. Surgery for the fuck. It's an ingrown toenail. Take it down a notch. Any smoky hole, FFG. You're not, you have no personality. You have a smoky hole that spews jealous rage. And you have that in common with your entire audience. All of them are haters. Let's say she has 4,000 watching when she's talking about me. Half of that when she's talking about Dory doesn't because no one gives a fuck. And um, if she were talking about herself. 4,000 watching if I'm talking about her, half watching if I'm talking about Doherty Dozen because nobody gives a fuck. So that would be, what, 2,000 watching? That would be great, 2,000 watching Doherty Dozen because no one gives a fuck. Chantal, when's the last time or have you ever had 2,000 people watching? Ever. Like, ever, ever. Never. So are you now jealous of the Doherty Dozen? <laughs> I love that the most. So... Guaranteed. No one cares about you. No one cares about you at all. I love that for you. Um, 4,000 people sub to Allah, all my haters. It's really pathetic. I was watching a beauty video and I saw an eyeliner that I really want to send you. I love your eyeliner spells. Really? Look at my eyeliner right now. I hope my eyes look like they have. <laughs> Thank you, Idaho. I don't want to. Like, what the fuck was the point of that? Like, come on, people, wake up. This dude traced down Natter <laughs> and said I ruined his life. I saw a comment today that was so idiotic. I just can't even. Imagine being that person, how they get through life. Saying I'm an abuser, that I've isolated Salah from his friends and family. Number one, here's my list. Where, where do you know the first thing about anything in his life? You have no idea his relationship with his family. He sees his friends every day, almost. Um, talks to his family every day. So what are you even talking about? Like people just want to make me out to be everything they think or everything that these reaction channels make out and none of it's true and they just follow blindly. They listen to anything. It's like so weird. No, no, no. It's not a blind follow. Not at all. The friend said exactly what we were thinking. There was two lines of thinking when it comes to Salad's family. Number one, if they wanted eventual citizenships, they would have been encouraging this, right? And it would have all been fake, but for them down the road, an end game. Turns out that's not at all what it is. And it was the other line of thinking that his family wants nothing to do with this. He thinks this whole thing is disgusting and they're ashamed that this is even going on. They can't stand Chantal. They can't stand what their son is doing. And that's what it is. <laughs> so don't think, oh, we're just listening to Allah because Allah's a hater and we don't like you. No, Allah's just confirming what everyone was already thinking. I love that for her, yeah. Blue aqua eyeliner. I don't think blue and hazel eyes go good together, do they? Screenshot that. More proof of her sniping and your views are done because of that loss of revenue. <laughs> really? Is she sniping me right now? Oh, so she wasn't getting enough views talking about Doherty doesn't, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, that never happened. Oh, she's sniping me? No, we didn't. We didn't snipe. She was live. This was happening as we were doing our last Doherty doesn't react. We didn't even discuss her at all. We didn't mention her. We just kept doing what we were doing. Chantal, nobody cares. Get over yourself. What a pathetic loser. Do women from Canada and Kuwait typically cover their hair? I don't know. I haven't seen anyone from Canada here, but how would I know, right? <laughs> Most women who aren't from there are Muslim don't cover up. Yeah, I don't know. No, he's he's gonna be late for the surgery, but they um. Sorry, I'm gonna sneeze. Or oh, yawn. Sorry, they freeze it. They freeze the toe. Many people making money off of you, honey. Even the douchebag and voodoo. Luckily for them, not much. I'm sure with two K views a video. <laughs> 
And considering how uh, Crackhead Olympics made you the most money that you'll ever make in your life on YouTube the past year was all because of Koki and the drama that he brought to your life and to your channel. I don't know. Let them make their fucking views now. Who cares? Oh, Elizabeth, please go get some brain, replenish, replenish your brain cells somewhere and come back. <laughs> I thought women cover their hair for modesty, regardless of like being educated, though, so you can show your hair if you choose to. Yeah, nobody's forced to do that here. Um, it's not like a legal obligation to cover your hair. It's You have to dress modestly, though. Like, you can get in trouble, I think, if you don't. Bitch. I don't leave the house unless I'm fully covered. Sometimes I argue, not argue with Salah, but like, well, a little, like, not argue in a bad way, but like, I try to get away sometimes with wearing, like, uh, this black dress with like an overshirt, but it's kind of clingy. So he's like, No, your boots are showing. <laughs> so I have to put my bio because you have to wear like flowy, loose fitting clothing, basically. How is BB doing in the sim? Why don't you message? So that thing is skin tight, and he's ashamed to be out with you with that skin tight shit. And he goes, No, cover it up. Got it. And he's single. So <laughs> why would people? It's so weird. It's like psycho, like you have psychological issues if you somebody is like married to someone else for many many years they haven't been with this person and why bring up like past relationships that aren't relevant anymore like you could probably better spend your two bucks somewhere else <laughs> just saying i really don't get that like what is the motive of that you know what i mean no proof of marriage i don't have to prove anything to you you can think we're not married if we want it's no skin off our ass plain and simple you have no proof that we're not either so do what you want what like if you found out we were not what would that change for you seriously it's no like you're so obsessed with my life i love that for you it's really freaking sad Take the info mail from Sala and sell it to Doo Doo Poo Poo. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure she would treasure it. He has no personality. I love that coming from you. Honestly, you have zero personality to the fact that your own boyfriend ignores you every day for hours to talk about me. How the hell are you thriving right now? Really? <laughs> um, she says on her honeymoon all night awake talking about him. Do you not see the irony there, Chantal? You're married, apparently. <laughs> my god you can build a case just like comparing reviews when she's raging about you versus other content yeah you're right girl so be in touch with me i would think more purple for your eyes eyeliner yeah oh girl sip be in touch with me <laughs> to build a case against me because i get double the views when i talk about her versus something else girl said be in touch with me <laughs> good luck you fucking loser gang fucking loser. Chantal, you are the laziest person of all time. You can't even report people yourself. You need other people to get you the screenshots and get you the info, and you still can't do jack shit. Uh, like a plum, Brittany. There's a few people sniping you. Really pathetic. All of them are disgusting, yeah. They're live reacting to you because they have no life. They have nothing to do. Where's your new jobs? Where's uh, FFG's job? She blatantly lies to her audience about that, about having a boyfriend. Has the nerve to say no one will touch me. Who's going to touch you? Are you kidding? You smell like Ashtray and Old Febreze and Old Crush, and you're going to tell me that you have a boyfriend? Excuse you. You said it yourself, girl. I smell like cigarettes, and I smell like apple mango tango. Where's Old Crotch coming in? This crotch, six months younger than yours. And you never had any green, drippy anything going anywhere near it. Don't even talk about crotches that stink, ma'am, who can't reach her own crotch to watch it. And is talking about people's crotches that stink. I've never sprayed perfume at my crotch to go and meet up with a crackhead who didn't want me. Hmm? <laughs> When's the last time you've watched it? When's the last time you've been able to reach it? Okay? <laughs> Please. Sounds like jealousy to me. By the way, let's do a side-by-side -side comparison of chins. Cam up, then you can talk to me. Cam up. I was standing right next to you at the fatty fashion show, you fat idiot. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Uh, okay, we'll definitely do a side-by-side -side comparison of chins. And then we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison of barrel gunts. Okay? Barrel gunt. You ready to go side-by-side -side for the barrel gunt shot? I don't think you're fucking ready. Her audience calls me chins. I'll never get over the projection all of them, like collectively. 4,000 people with the same issues. Scary. <laughs> They're dating you. What kind of pathetic life do you have to live with your peasants to live and breathe somebody you hate? Really?
And just keep in mind that this entire rant has become some moron in her chat said that we were sniping. We were not sniping. We were watching Doherty Dozen. What kind of life is that? I don't envy it for anything. I would live. I'd rather live in a cardboard box. There's nothing wrong with our apartment. Honestly, show yours. Like we have furniture, we have AC, we have everything we need. Air fryer. <laughs> Seriously, I don't need anything else. Mm -hmm. Show yours. I'm not a vlog channel and. I don't know if I was living in a dump like you're sitting in right now, I would certainly not be showing it off as some kind of a flex girl. The walls in my house aren't crumbling. There's windows in every room. Um, it's plenty for one person. It's bigger than the place y'all got. I don't know what to say. I, do, I don't, you know, break the thing on the bathroom floor. That doesn't look like there's shit in my grout lines. Uh, I can stand in my kitchen. With my hands out and twirl, there's space for a table for six fucking people in there. I can cook. I can clean. <laughs> but I don't have to flex a fucking ring. Okay? I have Sala. We love each other. That's all I need. Hey, Angela. <laughs> Goblin fish. Hey, greasy comb over. How are you? Hey, douchebag abuser. How are you? Want Taco Bell? They're going to oven. <sighs> they don't have Taco Bell. No, it's okay, JKK. No, I'm just wondering, like, why? Who cares about Bibi at this point? Sorry, Milan. Who cares about him anymore? Exactly. <laughs> like, I could twirl in my kitchen. I don't think about him ever. <laughs> Mad dumpster. Just be the creeps. Um, did he pick out his last meal? You really think you're going to get away with all the crap you've been talking about me and all the pictures you've been showing that are illegal in Canada? You're not in Egypt, buddy. Remember that. I don't see that he's alive unless she's on another platform. You bought yourself another ring. No, Earl. Where's your proof of this? filters and where's your proof where's your proof? every time she says where's your proof we're right that has been a defense since Koki. and every time she said where's your proof we were always right you bought your own ring because salad's friend told us you bought your own ring and we definitely believe that and that you're out all that money because you've been broke the whole time you've been in kuwait you're spending it on something so you're spending it on two wedding rings. You're spending it on those stupid candles and the little bracelets you bought and probably all the takeout. You apparently paid half of his hoopty. Imagine paying half a hoopty for some loser on the other side of the world while you're still making payments on your 2016 Kia Rio. <laughs> I don't know. Couldn't be me. Where's your picture? Next. We have taco time. It's a local place. Really? I never heard of taco time. Sounds very basic. <laughs> I'm kidding. Taco Bell is gross. It's like one of those things, like fast food is gross, but it's still delicious in a weird way. Do do show her personality, who she is, and she's a snake, like really poison snake. Yeah, I know a few people like You know what's so fucked Taco Bell um, sidebar for a second? We had two Taco Bells in Montreal. I, well, one in Montreal and one in Longay, which is like a, a suburb of Montreal. We had them here for the longest time. I went to Taco Bell once while they were here. All the years that they were here, I had it once. Never gave a damn about Taco Bell. Taco Bell left Quebec. Now I think about Taco Bell regularly. <laughs> it's only because we can't have it that I want it now. Okay. Ugh, I could, I mean, who would envy her existence? Imagine after everything we've seen on Sam's Bar Lounge. Like, by the way, take your Christmas tree down. What are you waiting for next year or what? What? She said that? Okay, this stream is from two days ago. So on January 5th, you're Christmas tree shaming people? Take it down. Are you waiting for next year or what? Girl, mine's still up. I'm sure a lot of people still have them up. Um, I, I, Christmas is depressing to me, but the ambiance of that tree is delightful. I don't know what to say. In the evenings, you plug it in, you get your little lights going. It's a whole vibe. I'm not willing to let go of it yet. Don't you have a real man in the house? He can't take down your tree? He's too busy raging and making burnt popcorn with fucking thyme and salt. Are you so fucking useless that you couldn't do it yourself? What is it? It takes a man now to take down a Christmas tree, you useless ham? And pepper? I don't follow people or watch people I don't like. They do it for the coin. That's why. Yeah. But imagine, like, having to... You know what I mean? Girl, say, I'm a Jew. Like, <laughs> technically, I'm a Jew. I mean, we celebrate Christmas. My, my dad's Christian. Like, I grew up with Christmas. But we celebrate it in a completely non-religious way. It's just an excuse to get some presents and eat some good food. It's all about the stuffing for me. The tree is 
I mean, I don't even need to put ornaments up. There's nothing religious about my ornaments. They're all just little tchotchkes. They're all funny and stuff. It's about the lights. It's it's just coziness. Making the, ooh, the room is cozy. It's cold and it's night and you, ooh, you plug in the lights. It's just a, a coziness. I don't know. It's nothing deeper than that for me. It never has been. ATBs. Nobody paid 10K for a fake hubby. I want proof of this. Proof. Oh, do you think I have 10K just laying around to pay for somebody? Uh, yeah, because it's, you, you left on your trip on November 1st. You would have just gotten paid, what, October 22nd? You made more than 10 grand. I'm pretty sure you did. I'm pretty sure you always do, Chantal, or at least since Crackhead Olympics. It still hasn't, you know, faded off so badly. You've now earned another paycheck while you've been in Kuwait. You definitely, definitely have had 10 grand to give up to this guy. Truly, I was getting whatever I wanted in Canada for free. So why would I pay and move across the world for anything other than love? People don't think. When did you ever get sex for free? Besides BB, and that was years ago. What what were you getting in Canada that was free? And you were so fulfilled that you weren't online looking for men on the other side of the world on Tinder for no fucking reason because you were so fulfilled. Who, what was free? What was free? If you believe the stories about all those one night stands she was doing right before she left, those were gigolos. And that's if you believe them, because I don't even think those were real. I think she was just randomly staying in hotels in Montreal, hoping that Koki would answer her calls. And that's really what I think was going on. Um, and then we go backwards and time brings us back to Koki. You paid that loser's rent for a year. You were giving him money and buying him shit while he was living with another woman. We know that you would be willing to pay for attention, pay for a man, pay for everything. All you had to do was fake love me. And now you're trying to, I, I, I wouldn't pay for it. I get whatever I want for free. The lies, the lies. Think about anything, you're just done. Oh, sorry. Uh, Allah said about the ring. Somebody whose motive was to get subs. And actually, we have proof of that, but it's, I'm not going there right now. Oh, we have <laughs> proof of that. We have proof of that. Shut up. For you, Earl. you need to touch brass with your ass. Make it fast. <laughs> your Christmas tree's still up. Take it down. How do you undercook and burn chicken at the same time? I heard, I think it was Omega and refer to it as chicken sushi. Would you like some salmonella with your butt hurtness? I know you're like, you're seriously showing how you're raging. He's raging. Sorry, I have crusties. I never thought that my happiness would make people angry. I cannot believe this. I thought people would happy for me. Wiping your nose with your sleeve over and over. You're so disgusting. Trying to sit there like some hot shit, wiping your fucking droobly nose on her sleeve. Disgusting, man. And nobody gives a damn if you're happy, if you're miserable. I never thought people wouldn't want to see me happy. When you're happy, let's see how people uh, react, okay? This isn't happy. You were happy the week you were in Toronto, or the few days in Toronto with Koki. This is not you being happy. This is you on, like, some kind of panic mode now because you know nobody's buying your shit at all everybody believes everything that salad uh salad said Allah said i really did <sighs> anyway this is the smell these are smell that we're going to be doing this is the sample prototype that he made in his warehouse Ooh. his warehouse <laughs> This guy's a fucking perfume bootlegger. This is so pathetic. I did. Oh, yeah. he's He distributes perfumes. He's got 22 uh, markets or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Bootleg perfume, like the perfumes at the dollar store. Wow. Wow. So impressive. Mm. Girl, it's not the one, is it? Is this the one? Yeah, rose vanilla and amber. I love that smell. So we're making some fragrances. <laughs> he always brings me home stuff. Nosferatu lives in the Christmas tree like a bat. Stop it. <laughs> I'm happy for you. Ah, uh, yes. Emotional support muffin. Eau de farts and blue cheese, her signature scent. Days, and I have my moods. Doesn't mean I'm not overall content with my life. Um. I've been watching too many flight simulator videos and now I'm scared to go back home on the plane. 
Yeah, especially I can't. <sighs> Never mind. God, that people are happy for you. It's hard, but forget about the haters. Oh, thanks, not me. No, my tummy hurts. I should have eaten. What did I eat? The spicy nuggets. <laughs> Oh, no shade to the dollar store perfumes. I was just making the point, not to the dollar store perfumes, but to him. I have a perfume company and we're in 12 markets in Kuwait. That paints a picture for the mind, okay? Bootlegging actual scents, like knocking off actual scents was not the image that it painted in my mind. That's all. You love the smell of amber. What does amber smell like? Like the, do you have a diffuser for the essential oils? Yeah. We have that diffuser I showed you in my thing. I don't know. I never saw it takes care of it. He always looks. His bedding ring is here. We don't really, like, usually we just take them off when we're in the house because I'm always, like, if I'm cleaning or doing dishes or preparing things, I don't want it to get wet. It almost fits me. Oh, my God, Marvin. I like that. FFG, create a scent and sell it as merch. Name it Spite. And it, my signature smell, it would smell just like gelato mint. Just the, ah, uh, she can't even get it. You know, just the driver, they're crazy. No, I'm kidding. It would smell like apple mango tango. Mm, delicious. <laughs> Me drunk, trying to like drink the fucking perfume. <laughs> you bought your own ring with Naz. Earl Jones, I was with a complete bum loser. Don't you forget that? Hello, Sala is- But, but you, you, you were the one desperately trying to get married to him. Hello, I was with a bum loser. Ma'am, put a little respect on your ex non fiance's name. <laughs> What's the matter with her? It's not him, okay? You guys have to not compare it because he, no, I don't buy my ring. I bought this ring for him and uh, was like, I don't know, 100 and something. I don't remember. He bought my ring for me. Like, he would never make me buy. Oh, so wait a minute. He's gone off to the hospital with his father and he left the wedding ring at home. That's interesting, isn't it? Huh. Very interesting. So does the father even know about this scam? Does the father even know that they're fake married? Are they just pretending none of this happens? Or is the father like, you better not wear that fucking ring. I don't even want to see a sign of this fucking hanam. Who knows? But that's really weird. Buy my own ring. Like, he different. could have just put it into his pocket. What the hell? I have a tiger in it, in it, in it. Oh, he left both of the rings at home. Okay, fine. That's fair. It would have been funny if the eye of the tiger was with him and the wedding ring stayed behind. <laughs> I've never loved anyone like this. I'm not kidding. I never knew there was a... Days or three days, whatever. I don't feel like that was so love. I can live with him. Every day is amazing. I'm not saying we don't have little arguments. Like, sometimes we bicker. But, yeah, he couldn't even buy the chicken, let alone buy a ring. Exactly. And I was in my fantasy land then. Like, oh, I want to be married. Ugh. Oh, my God. Can you imagine? Says the woman currently in her fantasy land. I want to be married. One of us wouldn't be alive today. Anyway, enough about that loser. So, yeah. What was I saying? I'm really afraid because I feel really, like obviously when we first met, I was initially very attracted to Salah. And then the more time we spent together, the relationship develops. It doesn't just instantly. But now I'm like full blown, full blown into him, like in love, love him so much. Like I feel like he's been him forever. Um, we're married, like we're together, together. And like to not be together would be a big thing. Um, a big legal, you know, like everything, we're just we're together. And like, I love him to the point where I'm like, at that point where I'm terrified to lose him. And it makes me insecure. And I don't like feeling like that. Like, even though he makes me feel secure, there's not the, any amount when you feel this way, any amount of I love yous or reassurances or amount of falafel someone can buy you that will reassure you that if you don't feel it yourself. And that's not fair to him. So I have to check myself with that. You know, so. You're this insecure, but you're married. You've already sealed that deal. What is there to be so damn insecure about? It's going to be really bad when she gets back here. Oh, he better answer every call as soon as the phone rings and stuff. Because Insecure Lunatic is going to... You can't do attempted B&Es in Kuwait from Canada. Oh, boy. She might explode. I can't wait. I will record every single stream, every word she says on the internet when she gets home. Because at any moment, it could flip into rage. I, we, I'll just record everything just in case.
Oh man, he sent me. Oh my God, he's so cute. I have our whole history of conversation. Everything, loving moments, little arguments, right from the beginning when he messaged me the first time. And eventually, he sent me a video one day. I woke up. It was a video of how it was an English video, <laughs> and it just was like proof that you found your soulmate. It was like one of those info things on YouTube. It was the cutest thing ever. Do you guys mind if I make? I wonder if I can make. Oh yeah, it's that. it's adorable. He's working hard for those papers. Good luck, salad. He's running scared. What? Colleen, oh my gosh, you are such a loyalty piece, are you? 15 months, oh my gosh, some of you have been with me for so long, you really are loyal, I love you guys. Oh, that's right, mother of gliders, thanks for reminding us all Chantal's words, right? It's not cheating if they're not in the same country. Colleen, thank you for repeating, very sick. And um, also my plan is not to keep talking about them, but they have gone overboard with talking about me. And sometimes I just like the nerve. You know what I'm talking about? Breezy's fingers are just itching to do a foodie booty. Didn't she like crack a day after? Okay, I'm gonna have some water. Do you think the shisha will hurt my stomach or relax it? It's mint. Mare Bear, <laughs> can we review Toe Bro's channel? I don't know what Toe Bro is, but there's an image that comes to mind just saying that name. I'm gonna say no because I'm assuming it's foot stuff and. I'd rather die. Do you guys want to come in the kitchen with me and make shisha? We can someone for you. I don't know. Am I a jerk for shaming people for making money off me? Will your marriage transfer or be recognized for immigration to Canada? Yeah, Maggie. Yeah. Nutter's just doing it for money, but D, you can tell, really hates you. Why? Because I, she literally does the same thing to me. I'm Kool-Aid girl, whatever, immature loser. She says that she, I, I wish I could be the good person she is. Really? Dee Dee's immature for calling her Kool-Aid girl, which she absolutely is, but I would go with Kool-Aid man. Um, but you made fun of Dee Dee's body looks, everything else. You still make fun of Dee Dee constantly, but she's immature for calling you the Kool-Aid man. Okay, whatever. Okay, hmm, let's see. You and him have lied to me and manipulated me the whole time. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? You deserve everything. Eat your karma. Eat your karma with a side of raw chicken. Eat it. Zero sympathy for you, greasy lady from Lachine. Ew. And you too. Greasy lady. Time. When's your last shower? Calling people greasy with that face. Like, what? Okay, whatever. We're not watching fucking coke toe content. Don't tell me. Li just listen to it. He's calming. Like, there's a lot of calming people out there. I don't have to listen to toe stuff. Oh, God. Oh, he's Canadian, too? Wow. Isn't that just lucky for... What? No, thanks. <laughs> oh, no. You know what we could do, though? Pimple popping. Blackhead extraction. <gasps> I live for those videos. Oh my God. We could just sit here and watch that for hours. And I'm not kidding. But I, I'm very selective with those, by the way. I don't like the ones where they have to use the punch. I don't like blood in them. No, no, no. It has to be just, just a clean mm, extraction. Pus only. Sack only. No blood. No punch. I love it. I live for that shit. Wait. Oh. I saw cheeseburgers. I was like, plain cheeseburgers? <laughs> Crispy buns. Mint should relax. Oh, yeah. I already read that. He is jealous of Salah for being with Chantal. I think if you're going to be on here, it's something that comes with it. <sighs> I've been feeling very dark lately, especially when I'm, like, grumpy. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Turn my notice down. Lady Elaine Fairchild. Obese lady Elaine. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm bringing that up because she has some nerve always fat-shaming me that she's slightly smaller. No, lady, you're a linebacker, okay? So I don't even get the idea. Slightly smaller! She has such body dysmorphia. She calls people who are like hundreds of pounds less than her slightly smaller. Dee Dee was like a good, I don't know, 150 pounds less than Chantal when we first met Dee Dee. And it looks like up until now, like she's lost another, what, 40, 50 pounds slightly smaller she's like a whole other obese person less than you that you're dainty at your weight age but, oh, anyway see now i'm lowering myself to that loser i'm buffalo and a half that's all he has like he looks like a sick camel are you kidding you look like a goblin fish buddy you wish you were as pretty as me 
belly dancing loser. What's that word? That, uh, sal- um, I know sal- Chef Hara. <laughs> Sorry. I don't, ah! know I don't know how women do it here. Keep their composure. It's hard. Eat your karma with a sigh of raw chicken. <laughs> Didi hates you because she knows Squid still wants you and can't stop talking about you. Didi wants, wanted the abusive prick, so she got him with the most for her. Guaranteed. He talks to other women, guaranteed. And he cheats on you all the time, guaranteed. You think you're special? Like, what makes you special? What makes you special? Um, where he wants to... He wants to do your best friend that you had for 30 years or whatever. That's disgusting. Like the minute somebody wants my best friend, out the door, buddy. Out the door. Drop you. I'll drop. This is the woman who ate an Arby's sandwich twice, trying to lure a crackhead away from Dee Dee. Out the door, right, Chantel? Mm-hmm. I would drop every one of those crappy boyfriends at your condo. You can have them all. Triple Princess, you know I love you, but the new song is not good. Is not good, Lord. What's that, Super Princess? You want a part two? Okay. Actually, I'm gonna learn acoustic soon. Didi said you're not really happy. Oh, and you are. And I'm exactly, Cougarelli. Like, who is she to? What's that expression? I forget the expression, but like, like kink shame. You know what I mean? Someone else's kink. She kissed someone's foot, and there's pictures of it. That to me is a kink. Like. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm not a foot person. I'm not an open relationship person. But if I had to choose between those two, open relationship all day, every day before I would ever fucking kiss a foot. A crackhead dirty foot on top of that. Ugh. They actually think that I'm the one who emailed them. Are you insane? <laughs> I should, like, the minute I got off the live stream, I showed Sala my scent box. He didn't ask because he knows that would never. Oh, oh, there's a term for it. I love that there's like a term for everything. Lunamar, thanks for this. E-N-M, ethically non-monogamous. That's a that's like a sweet way of saying it. Ethically non-monogamous. What's the matter? Everybody's grown, okay? Not everybody, like Chantal, aspires to like a ring and a fake husband and kids. Some people just want to fucking live their lives. And if that's what you're into, like, who are you to shit on it? Again, you made kink videos of you struggling to get out of a tub full of peeps. Who are you to shit on someone else's fucking kink? Positive thoughts. Hey, Moth Paul. <laughs> that's one thing I don't care. People, you're not really happy. How would you know what the first thing about my happiness? What makes you the, the professor on dictating someone's happiness when you're clearly not happy yourself? How the hell can you be? We've all seen those videos. Um... You both look like you've aged 20 years in the past two, three months. Well, to be fair, that's the drugs. It's kind of out of key. And Sala, I woke up. I was sleeping. He didn't know that I did the song until he woke up. And I heard the, the song. He's like, what is this? You're singing and talking. Like, to me, it sounds like you did something illegal to get married, but maybe that's why you feel dark. No, no, no. I don't feel dark. It's not illegal. No, it's not possible. It's not, it's not possible to get away. She absolutely did ruin peeps for everyone. The one thing I will say was kind of merciful of her was that she did it with peeps, which were always God awful, disgusting, fucking sad excuse for candies. They were cute and they were not tasty. She could have done it with like something good and then something good would have been ruined forever. Let it be peeps. Legal marriages here. Um, There's different types of marriage contracts. So um, what was I going to say? Any water. A huge part of that is being able to disengage and not watch the hate. It's enough to hurt the strongest person. Oh yeah, most of the time I don't do like that's why I'm still here. Not just that, it's not just I just get bored. I don't know. I'm not gonna watch people react to me. Why? Like, I know the content I put out. Why would I watch it secondhand through through someone's warp lens who has a motive against me, has a motive of making money and keeping the hate going for the crappy audience? Why would I watch that? Not gonna happen. Oh yeah, yeah, because I need to start tuning, turning up the air conditioner. <laughs> He's going to become a human popsicle. I just don't get how he still has a channel and viewers after literally beating her on camera. Lulu, these women are sick. They are psychologically messed in the head. Um, there's no other explanation. And that's not a shame, that's a fact. Like, if- Oh my God, I think for the first time ever, I'm going to say I agree with Chantal on that. If you didn't believe that Koki was an abusive piece of crap before those um, Sam's Bar Lounge videos came out, after seeing those and listening to what was going on and stuff, how anybody could still support him, how anybody could like be in his chat, fucking simping for him and modding for him, it blows my mind. It really, really does. 
There are some sick individuals out there. If you see some of them, look like Curly. She's warped and demented in every way. You know, I need water. Look at right here for a minute. I wanted to wear my skin since day one, lady. Get a personality. And then you have the nerve to say Salah doesn't have one. Are you kidding? So you shouldn't say things like people want to wear your skin. You ever seen the meme of like, the meme, the thing of like three people in a trench coat? Look at three kids standing on each other's like shoulders in a trench coat to look like an adult. Ma'am, you could pile like 16 people into your skin. Nobody wants to wear that fat suit. Personality is the. Hmm. Okay, this one. Watching wings here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. Let me just uh, uh, enhance. Um, notice over next to my Renaissance baby's little Adidas socks. What's that right there in the corner in the same room without a window or any kind of ventilation it's the hamster and is she about to smoke some shisha because she just had the the thing in her hand hmm so what you're saying is that you're smoking the shisha in the same room as that hamster with no ventilation and no windows and yet you have the audacity to move your big fat mouth and say that i killed my dogs because of smoking in the house with them interesting did you ever see a hookah machine? I want to see. Nice water. Should I string snipe them? Let's see. Let me turn the laptop on. This is our router. We take it everywhere with us. 5G, baby, 5G. I'm flexing. You hit a granny hit with pathetic. What happened? Lost my inspiration. I think she has been conditioned to the abuse and in some form is an abuser also. Listen, tea likes, you know, Salah, I'll have fly. Look at this hottie. Look at this hottie. Work out. <laughs> I have cute aggression. Honestly, I cannot. I can't. I was like, isn't 5G the internet on my cell phone? Honest question, I don't know because I, I wasn't sure. So I didn't say anything, but like, 5, 5G's like, what everybody has, right? Where's the flex? I'm. It is, eh? Okay, that's what I thought. I'm like, that's the thing that it says on my phone in the corner. My phone's in the other room plugged in. I can't check it now. But, oh, okay. Like, so, like, the ba the basic, like, data. Oh, you know, 5G, baby, 5G. Mm. Yeah, he probably wishes you emailed him, so seriously. Number one, it's a troll. Bank him on the idea that I've created numerous fake accounts to contact that loser before. But always through Messenger. Never email. I don't email people. And yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is she showing that like that's the internet in their house? That's the Wi-Fi? Is 5G? Uh, the internet on my phone sucks. Well, I mean, it doesn't suck, but it's nothing like the internet in the house. We don't have fucking 5G in the house. You get, I, I'm so bad. I don't know shit about this, okay? <laughs> There's no fucking way. Like right now, let's say we're streaming. This is not 5G. This is like normal internet, like plugged in, in the house. Okay. If I would go outside with my phone, let's say, and try and like have all these tabs going and StreamYard going and whatever going, there would be mega lag on the stream. Like it wouldn't even be able to stream like this. How the fuck do you call yourself a gamer and you're playing on 5G? That I don't even know about shit, and that seems fucking impossible to me. Something is not making sense here. Like, what's the password? Nine. Okay. No recent history. Phone 5G and internet 5G are different. Oh my God. Oh no. This is turning into a NASA thing. Oh, things just got complicated. You have 5G Wi-Fi 
but we have a good speed upgrade. Oh, that sounds complicated. <laughs> oh my God. He plays P. Wait, P, P PUBG Mobile on his phone. My mom plays Candy Crush. So he she is a gamer. <laughs> oh my God. I used to play cards and backgammon on my phone. Am I a gamer too? Can I be in the gamer community? Can I say howdy gamers? I don't like Mountain Dew though, but I do like Baja Blast. Hmm. Gamer. The volume, I gotta turn it down. Hold on. I own a Nintendo that I haven't even turned on in over a year. Does that make me a gamer? Wait, guys. How come there's no volume on here? Fib VIP peasants. I have to be vague about stuff. I don't want to talk about my marriage or how we did it or anything like that. Because people take things and they twist them. And just the truth about if you could even afford groceries. No, you couldn't afford anything. I paid everything. Like, you added on is everything. You know what? No, I, I wouldn't mind. Having somebody who I don't have to pay everything for is a big difference. Like, where does, okay, if I have to pay for a boyfriend, what do you think FFG has to do? Like, nobody, she would, nobody will take any money from her. Are you kidding? You're absolutely right, Chantal. If I even made an attempt to offer Mr. FFG some money, we would have the biggest fight of all time. It's that kind of thing. Mr. FFG is European and old school, just like I am. I don't want to say I don't pay for shit. There's plenty of shit that I pay for. Okay. My house, I pay for everything in my house. But like, um, if we're like, for example, have a balance on a car. If I even made an attempt to pay half of the balance on Mr. G, uh, Mr. G, Mr. FFG's car, there would be the like World War Three. So you're absolutely right. Nobody would take money from, F from uh, FFG. That's psycho shit. Most people don't have to pay for company, Chantal. Um, it's not a gentleman thing. It's just, He's very old school. And the same way I am, he wouldn't want me paying half of his fucking car. And there's no way in hell I'd be paying half of his fucking car. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to overly impress somebody. And nobody's looking to be overly impressed either. We're living on planet Earth down with the peasants. Uh, and he doesn't need to be bought. And I don't need to purchase anyone. It's It's quite nice. Yeah, right, Michael. Who's mad? Yeah, Mistress Kitty, I already addressed that. There's ways around it. Um. <laughs> Style, fit, and 20, you mid age 40 and morbid. Good luck. Gia, that's what makes you guys so mad, isn't it? The fact that I'm almost 40, can't have kids the natural way. He can. Surrogacy. Other things. And there's some countries where it's super cheap and affordable. Discount. Anyway. Where there's a will, there's always a way, honey. And he. When there's a will, uh, there's always a way, honey. But there's only one sided will. He doesn't want to have kids with you. I think one of the biggest appeals of doing this, like, marriage of convenience with Chantal is the fact that no matter what happens, she can't trap him. I think that's a huge appeal, to be totally, totally honest with you. Hmm. Your girl, Jen A. Um, FFG, I think you'd be a great mom. Thank you for saying that. That's really nice of you to say, but that's a hard disagree from me. Like you have to sort of know yourself, right? I have zero patience. I go zero to a hundred in a heartbeat. I am very quick to rage and anger. Um, I don't think that makes an ideal parent. Nick, he didn't believe me that I was my age. Like I don't find I looked look old or anything. So, and anyway, he likes older mature women, like within reason. It's not just about me uh, being a certain way. He loves me for me. And I know that makes people mad, but stay mad. <laughs> Don't sing Arabic. What's the other line? Okay, never, I'm sorry, I can never remember it. D looks like Rob Ford. And Rob Ford had a baby. She's sleeping in his bed. She doesn't need luck. Yeah, I've already bagged him. He put a ring on it, remember? Can we please snipe crack your leg? Eddie is it? Oh my god. Call me Kool-Aid girl all you want. At least I'm cute. I'm fat and cute. Not fat, fat and greasy. Oh, I'm so glad I let her finish that sentence. At least I'm fat and cute. Says who? Your lying mother? 
Nobody else thinks so. At least I'm not fat and greasy. Girl, when was your last shower? Just because you don't have hair so we can't see like visibly greasy hair doesn't mean that anybody doesn't know that you're not super fucking greasy. Okay, Chantal, stop it. You're you're fat and greasy and you call Dee Dee fat and greasy. I'm realizing everything she spews onto Dee Dee is also projection. Is this how she insults everybody? I got to pay attention to this because I've only realized two days ago that everything she says about me is mad projection. Now today I'm realizing the same thing goes with Dee Dee. Is it everyone? Huh. I think it may be. That's why you're both still obsessing over me. I'm sorry. I probably learned how to say his name properly. Go like this. Salah. There's Arabic ways of saying things. I cannot say them properly. <clears throat> yeah, girl, we um, know. Ha ha. Instead of ha ha. <laughs> you know you know what really bothers me why i harp on the way she says ha ha when she's trying to say shit in arabic because what i love so much about the word shit when properly pronounced in arabic is that it comes off of your tongue like shit it's like you're spitting or like shitting out of the mouth there's such like emotion when you say that word you can feel the disgust in the way it is said, it's the most beautiful word. I just, I live for that word. You can tell how much I despise what I'm saying when I, you know, and say, ha, ha. don't even say it. God. Albi means heart. Okay. Yeah. And hubby is like, yeah, hubby, hubby is like my love. Um, big action. I don't know the song. Where is in the search history pretty woman song because it was on Dumb and Dumber and then Sala randomly played it for me. Um not heard El Scammy. Here we go. Oh my god. What's going on these days? Are you like you do you eat your own cooking or something? Why do you look so skinny? Introducing the cocaine, ma'am. You know why he's so skinny. Stop it. Ew, I have to watch the eyes on my laptop. Oh, he's watching me. They're watching me. <laughs> you hear how excited she just said that? Oh, they're watching me. Hey, Dudu, what are you doing right now? <laughs> Didn't you just write a song? A diss track, Sad Big Bird. What part of calling him a sad miskeen is that a love song for him? Yeah. Basic, basic. It's insane. Look at this. <laughs> chef Hara, chef shit. <laughs> Go inhale a cheese burger. Not if Chef Hara is making it. Damn. I like making fun of his audience, too. Look at all these bitter women who are like, like abusers. Jealous. He's foaming at the mouth. And it's not the salmonella. Did she say at least we're together? I love getting black eyes. I love getting black eyes. Do you guys? Should they talk about my apartment? They talk about my apartment as if theirs has any more personality. Your apartment has the personality of freaking Zachary Michael and you're gonna make fun of me. Oh no, I didn't do Zach wrong like that. Should go in there and get banned. A song this whole stream and now is live. Yeah, so, so what are they? They must be really in love with me, Gia, right? Because they literally talk about me every day. They're making money. He's got trial coming up. Those lawyers aren't free, girl. Come on. He's, he's making a little money. So what does that make them? Your man regularly still talks about sleeping with me and you're beside him. You're a weird cuckold. Again, there's just... It'll never uh, not be shocking to me to hear a woman in a hijab saying the word cook. Get in nightmares by listening to his voice. Hey. What about Shannon? You mean the girl that you threatened and told me I couldn't hang out with and now you're gonna defend them because it suits your narrative? You're such a pathetic loser. I can't listen. I have to put my earphones on to listen and I don't feel like it. Okay, do you guys wanna see the window from over? Have the Burger King desert nightmare started. No, I think because my Burger King in the desert dreams have been realized. 
Okay, not me. I ended it. I can't even hear what they're saying anyways. All I hear is voice. And then... Wait. You wish you wore these sunglasses, lady. I wish I had glasses I could make funny now. They're in the bedroom. Oh my god. Really? Ground turkey today matter. <laughs> She is, I was such like secondhand embarrassment. The way she comes for Dee Dee, she having a stroke. <laughs> kind of looks like it, eh? Oh my God. Ah, is cuck a new word for her? You know who says that word a lot? The attic dweller. So ever since she's, you know, joined up with the attic dwelling gang, uh, I've noticed she's really been saying that word, like overusing that word. It's really bad. Oy. Oh, hype train. I'm so sorry, y'all. I've missed the hype train. Thank you for the hype train. I forgot that we were on Twitch again. And I never switch over to that tab. And then when I do, oh my God, fuck, it's Twitch. My bad. Thank you guys so much for the hype train. Thank you to anybody who has subscribed. Oh, wait, I forgot the words. Sorry, it's been so long. Uh, Subscribed, followed, gifted subs, or cheered with bits. That's it. I'm so sorry. It's not that I don't appreciate it. I just always, we sit here, I get a little minty, and I forget what that it's not YouTube. Because I do it all in the stream yards and it all looks the same to me. Uh, my bad. Forgive me. Oh my god. I can't. I've changed. To a degree. She's still using the Victoria's Secret sprays. She has my toiletries. I'm toiletry shaming her right now. I had a shower at her house once. She has one bottle of like four in one, like body wash and shampoo. <laughs> one stale ass razor with gray hair sticking out on it. I should have put two and two together back then. Why are you shaving? Thank you, girl. Sip. The YouTube editor doesn't do anything about hate. They tell you to. Wait, <laughs> excuse me. I need, I need to just analyze what was just said. She had a shower at Dee Dee's house. There was a razor with a gray hair sticking out of it. And she said, I should have put two into two together then. Why were you shaving? You didn't think they were boning? You were over there. You're having a shower in Dee Dee's apartment. And you didn't understand. You're pretending like you didn't understand that they were boning. Okay. Um. Wait, someone just put it in the chat. Wait, wait. Where is it? Where is it? About uh, uh, her shaving. Uh-huh. Oh, tabarnak. I can't see it. Who's not shaving, though? I tell you who's not shaving. Somebody who can't reach it. Chantal is definitely not shaving. And um, that alone, the fact that she found a Dee Dee's razor and whatever, uh, should tell her that Dee Dee is not at all slightly smaller than her. <laughs> she's jealous. Oh, my God. She's jealous because Dee Dee can shave. Jealous. Love that. You report people. They don't care. I haven't even talked to my manager. She's jealous. They want oh my God. I haven't talked to my manager. They want me to do premieres. You remember when I said that that manager is bullshit and I got the same thing as her and she's like, where? Prove it. So I put it up on the community tab. There's the email. You sucker. I got the same freaking manager. It's not like a YouTube manager like you get if you have over 100,000 subs. Okay. Look at what her manager just told her to do. This is the advice. Thank you, girl sip. The YouTube manager doesn't do anything about hate. They tell you to report people. They don't care. I haven't even talked to my manager because they wanted me to do premieres. I tried that out. No, Ron, I'm not watching them. So that's it. She's having a problem. The YouTube manager can't help her at all with her problem. They just go report it. Okay. And they just advised her to do more premieres. So that's exactly what I'm saying. That's just that YouTube manager where the whole thing was just make more money for YouTube pretty much. You know, make more money. So in turn, YouTube makes more money off of you. Same thing. I had to be the whole thing. You could tell them that the sky is blue and they just kept coming back around to like, um, what was it? Doing memberships on the channel. I explained the whole mentality of like no memberships on the channel. I'm like anti these fucking memberships and stuff. Oh, okay. I get that. Five minutes later, do memberships on the channel. It's like, am I talking to a brick wall? Shut up. So then I just avoided their emails for almost, uh, well, since April. 
it's sad. It's actually really sad that they don't see how sad they are that they need this for content to like obsess with me. After I apparently ruined your life, what do you think that people are actually just going to miraculously start believing you and liking you? Your reputation is forever ruined and you ruined it yourself. I love that for you. You have no one to blame but the two of you. Book override each other and blame each other. Where did the hair come from though? I don't know. I went into the bathroom. I went over there. <clears throat> he was upstairs and he was trying to corner me. And he's like, are you crazy? I don't sleep with a dude. I'm like, why are all her, why is her? She had one red lipstick on the counter and then like a pink razor was on the sill of the bathroom, of the bathtub. And there was all like big hair stuff to it. Queen, skinny queen TV is listening to Nat or Drool about you. I mean, ew. Can you imagine you're allegedly married now? You're a hijabi now. And you're on your honeymoon talking about the time you went over to fuck a crackhead at someone else's house and talking about their what was in their razor and like, Oh my god, you're you're so embarrassing, Chantal. What the fuck? Please. <laughs> Can you smell Shane D? No. But she's using like stuff that's very creepy. They're just ranting endlessly and raging. I don't know, rage pigs. He lied. He's Rhonda. I've never met a bigger liar in my entire life. It's pathological. Every single thing. He just like no personality, no integrity. <clears throat> the reason Salwa sounds robotic is because he is very insecure about it. When he speaks English, he stutters. Like he has a bit of a stutter and he's nervous. And he's not used to being in front of the camera that way, like talking English. He usually speaks Arabic. So he really plans what he's going to say, and sometimes we do a take over and over and over until he's comfortable with it. He's talking a lot of- That's so stupid. So, uh, I mean, I would say that's why they come off so, like, insincere, but no, 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 no. We do a take over and over. They're supposed to be vlogs. So your vlogs are fake. <laughs> if you, Oh, my God. <laughs> If he's good at English or not, or comfortable with it or not, we would still be able to see personality shine through. Hmm? Yeah, you, you can tell someone's personality coming through, whether or not they're good at a language. He's boring. He's dull. He has no personality. He's very serious. Just accept it. You're boring. You're dull. You have no personality, too. You're not serious. You're a joke. That's the only difference between the two of you. What's the problem? patience like a lot of things I have to be patient about here you can't just there's always traffic oh my god <laughs> um you're allowed to drive like 140 here it's really cool <laughs> yeah Rosie you're right <laughs> you're right she wore my gross dirty slippers do you guys remember the crap they put me through and you all saw it I should have seen it yeah I'm done I'm like, oh, they're lying to you I never believed that because he was so convincing and so passionate when he was with me that I really believed that he loved me. Passionate. But you don't love somebody when you do that to them. Um, there's no way, you know? Can we skip ahead a little? I'm, I'm sick to death of listening to this fucking rewriting of the past. Now he's, oh no, not the hamster time. No, no, get out of here, hamster. Now he's passionate. He was passionate when they were together. Stop lying. You're literally only lying to yourself. No one cares. It's enough for a cross breeze. There was maybe, but we have central air. This apartment building was built not that long ago. So I know it doesn't look like it to some of you because you're used to like Western apartments, but there's a lot nicer. I'm not saying there's not, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it here. Open the window. I'll give you my firstborn child to open the window. Oh, yeah, I like that one, too, when she was the clown and he was the passport. That was fun. Why are you believing this guy? We didn't take any drinks with us at all. I was even thirsty in the car. And I was like, I remember saying to Stella, I cannot wait to get home, brush my teeth, and drink a gallon of water. Like. Oh, yeah, okay, that makes us believe you. Oh, wait, we can do, I'm like, shit, I wish we could do a pull. We can do a pull. Let me do a pull. Let me just remember how to find the button to do a pull. Is it this one? Yes, new poll. Okay. Did they take all the water, drinks, and Kleenex from the desert? Oh, it doesn't fit. 
Okay. Just did they take all the water, drinks, and uh, and uh, Kleenex? We understand where they were. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> no. No, they're nice and left it. Oh, it doesn't fit. How about just a yes or a no? It's just that simple. Oh, wait, should we do a yes or a no? Or they took some and left some. Uh, that doesn't fit either. Come on, Twitch. Took some and left some. Okay, that works. Everybody, please vote in our pool. Picking up lies. All lies, just like they didn't reinforce their couch. Nobody cleaned up after me there. He said I couldn't fit in the bathroom. Do you think that's true? I can go walk in my bathroom right now and show you. Like, <laughs> so. Oh, girl, come on. Everybody cleaned up after you there. We know that the women cleaned after you because in your own video, the vlog that you made of camping, I guess you forgot, you sat there perched like a lunatic uh, because you said that you had a migraine and so you, you didn't help the women clean up. They insisted your words that you stay there and rest. I had a smaller bathroom at the old place. I fat, I fat inside it. I was fat inside it, but I, hold on. I fit inside it. No problem. Thanks, Cookie Cat. We didn't leave anyone without water, okay? It was awesome. My lips are dehydrated. You have to ask to go outside. Or you choose to just, I don't go outside by myself, Brittany. Yeah. Um. No, no, the wife didn't wash. Apparently, according to Allah, the offer that was uh, like offered to Chantal or to salad, I don't really know. I would imagine maybe he said it's a salad, was that because the bathroom at their house is so small, if she wanted to, she could go over to um, Allah's house. Allah and Salad would leave. They would like go out, have a coffee, God only knows, whatever. And she would stay there with Allah's wife. And Allah, you know what I mean? She could take a shower. Allah's wife would be there like, I don't know, hand her a fucking <laughs> towel if she wanted it. Who knows? But just, you know what I mean? She's not alone in someone else's house. And the men would leave. That was apparently the offer that was made. And she's turning it into like, I don't know, like a hateful thing. To me, I didn't think anything hateful. I thought that was kind of nice of them to offer. If it's that small in the bathroom that she can't properly wash, I thought it was a nice offer. Was it a little shady? Absolutely, but still nice. I mean, shady to like tell us on the video, you know what I mean? But it was a nice offer. And does he have to care about being shady after Chantal was such a vicious bitch to his wife? Ah, uh, hell no. I don't think he, like... At the old place, there was a nice walkway um, for me to go walking. He said if I wanted to go at night. You know, honestly, it's more of a safety thing, Brittany. It's not, like, probably wise. Oh, hold on. The poll ended, and I, I didn't even notice it. Hold on. Poll results. Did they take all the water, drinks, and Kleenex? Yes, 94%. They took some and left some, 6%. And no, 0%. <laughs> okay. for me to go walking alone out there he worries it's not more of a controlling thing um he lets me do pretty much mostly what i want so no it's not about that but for some things yeah like out of respect i would ask like i know like it's so different world like asking permission from your husband for something it's not like that i can't buy this or you know it's not like that but certain things yeah those plastic things you eat on top of put under his cage <gasps> yes you know what i should tell me that too that's a good idea that's a good idea. Oh, I'm gonna do that. They wanted everyone in the desert to dehydrate and die. Right, gloss it. Mm -hmm. Get a curtain for it and maybe some decorations. <laughs> make it feel homey. When you leave Stella, we'll have things around to make him happy. Oh, true. Maybe we should. Aisha was in the, okay, the last of the three deleted. Remember what it was called? We reacted to it last night on YouTube. That last one, Aisha was there. She at one point, Aisha! She does that stupid, you know, as she comes into the chat. Mm. You guys don't know how hard the travel journey is. I just tune it out when I'm doing it. I don't know the how I have the courage journey. to fly 13 hours. 
go through some of the largest airports I've ever been through and not speaking any Arabic. Oh my God. That's what I was saying last night. Okay. I know some people want her to get like locked up in Kuwait and stuff. I think it would be more hilarious if they let her go home. She does the travel journey all the way home, then gets a ticket for March. Travel journeys, all that fucking 14 hour flight all the way back to Kuwait. And only at the Kuwait airport is she denied entry into Kuwait. And she has to turn right around and get back on a plane and do the whole 14 hour thing all the way back. That's what I was saying last night to me. That's the best content because when she gets back to that room in Ottawa, we will get the best rage of all time. It will make the Cuba rage seem like nothing. And that's what I really want to see. An intense heat. All for my love. I, I don't regret any of it. When you do things out of your comfort zone, it forces you to grow as a person in a lot of ways. I never imagined. You know, sometimes my impulsivity is bad. Sometimes it's actually good, surprisingly. Did Salo wake up? No. Hold on. I thought I heard something. <laughs> Stop eating. Stop eating, Timothy. Hey. She just <laughs> yelled at an animal to stop eating or said to anyone to stop eating. Ma'am, leave the hamster alone. Stop eating, shut the Stop eating. Why don't you go out for kidnap bees? Matter wants you to put your head through the window. Never mind beetle juice. Beetlejuice and Edie is awful. Awful. Not only does have his 15 minutes for a week till he runs out of things to. <laughs> I know. I can't see a drawer. I, to be fair, I did forget about it that it was there. Can you imagine how bad that room smells if you could forget about KFC in a drawer for months and not smell it? That makes you wonder what the hell else is in that room that's like overshadowing the KFC just decay. I mean, she has to stay behind the impenetrable booth workers. <laughs> Can you walk in a shopper cafe on your own? No. I don't mind though. I feel protected, honestly. <clears throat> Men are very, very protective of their women. I know it seems controlling, and I'm sure some men are, but the it's an overall cultural thing. Like, even if men don't, even Murad, he doesn't talk to me. Like, if we, if I have to, like, through Salah, other than, like, uh, Salaam Alaikum, it's always through Salah. That's just how it is. Men and women, very separate. Uh, men are very jealous here, and I see the jealousy as normal. Um, but Salah is more open-minded. He's not very traditional in a lot of ways. But he's a jealous man for sure. And at first that like kind of scared me a bit because I'm like, oh no, am I getting in another toxic situation? But it's not what I thought it would was. Um, they make it seem yeah, again, a woman who claims to have been abused for the better part of a year. Oh no, am I getting into a toxic situation and dives head first with a marriage upon arrival? Nah, you weren't that bad. Like not everything that you said happened with Koki happened. That's the way I'm going to word that. Okay, Chantal? Okay, Chantal? Do I believe he's done nothing? No. Do I believe everything you said? Fuck no. There is no way, no way that the next, like, relationship after an abusive one, somebody would, from the get, see those kind of red flags and just jump in like that. Nope, nope. You're just that desperate, Chantal. Very practical. So, like, let's say when I go get juice or coffee, we drive up, you drive up to the coffee shop, you don't go in, you beep your horn, and somebody comes out, and even though I'm on that side, and I could just roll down my window, like, if I was in Canada, I would be passing through everything, and let's face it, probably paying, so the guy goes over to Salva's side of the window, doesn't even look at me, because they know the rules, it's like a whole universal thing here, you know, <clears throat> I feel safer with Salva, yeah, the same in Egypt from Canada, oh, really, Sanella? Are you insecure to leave him there? Oh, JKK, I would be if it weren't for the fact that he and I, when we were in Canada, when I was in Canada and he was here, the whole day when he was not at work, he was working somewhere else then. He wasn't at work. There. She just confirmed it again. I'm so glad that he was working before she came there. He had a job. 
there was some kind of inv investment. I like, this is all making so much sense now. This was her fucking investment that she was talking about flexing about before she left some bootleg perfume, whatever. Mm -hmm. What a mess she's in here. Alice said Panasonic. Oh, well, he shouldn't have left that job. Much better than bootlegging perfumes. Chantal, I don't know. I don't know. To think what she's going to make this, this kind of money. She's How does she even make money this month? In my opinion, if this arc is going to continue with Salad, the views and the interest in Chantal is just going to go down and down and down and down. Again, I think really the reaction channels have been keeping her somewhat watchable, somewhat relevant now even. Everybody is so bored of this Kuwait arc. Everybody. Besides the last couple of days as the tea's been coming out, nobody gives a damn about the Kuwait arc. Not us, not you guys, not nobody watching cares, right? If it wasn't for the reaction channels keeping this going, things would be even worse. And I, I'm telling you now, I'm really not kidding. If she goes back in March, like, it's not, I'm not going to watch. I'm not watching her every day. That's for damn sure. I just don't care about these streams. This is so boring. This is the same content that we got for years at the villa, but... She can't rage in the way we want her to rage. It's never going to be over the top in the way it was over the top. And this like watered down, piss poor version of what her channel used to be. It's really not my vibe. Or sleeping. Like I would stay on the phone with him until he fell asleep, like snoring. And I would hang up. Um, we would spend every waking moment together. So if it weren't for that fact, and the fact that he's proven over and over again, he's not interested in other women, like... Um, not accepting any women on social media. But that's neither here nor there. You know that you're into an arranged marriage or an arrangement, a marriage of convenience, somebody trying to get themselves papers. You have obstacles before you can make him papers. The thing that you should really be afraid of, Chantal, is that he finds some other dumbass willing to sponsor him who doesn't have like bankruptcies and things that they have, hurdles, let's say, before they'd be able to do the, the sponsorship. That's what you should be afraid of. I have a feeling as soon as she gets the hell out of his apartment, he's going right back on Tinder. Uh, to make me feel secure. Um, so he makes me feel less insecure. I don't feel insecure with him because he's done nothing to make me feel that way. Uh, kind of like with Milan or um, how he was like not a liar, not a cheater. Sala is like very much on that par with um, respect and reassurance. So really helps. You, you can feel when someone, I don't know. That's why I was always miserable with trash because- Yeah, I mean, I you're right. <laughs> he probably is. There's just so many reasons, obviously, but one of the things was the insecurity. Like, I don't feel that with Stala and it's, you know, it reinforces my love for him for sure. That's a good question, JKK, because it is something that crossed my mind briefly. He is worried, I can tell, some a little bit. He said, like, are you going to go to Canada and forget me? And- Fuck yeah, he's a little worried. Again, he wants the papers. He sees the way you're awake watching Koki all night. You're fighting with Koki. You're in Koki's chat. He can see that like, oh shit, she's really still like stuck on this guy. What if she gets back there and something happens? And I really, I don't care how mean this is. I, I mean this with every fiber of my being. I really hope Koki, Koki, take one for the team. Make yourself that $2,000. Just hit it one more time when she gets back just to have fucked his wife, okay? Just just prove that you can, Koki. It would be the funniest shit when we find out that when she got back, she slept with Koki. I swear to God, I would die laughing. Koki, do it. Do it, Koki. Make that money again, Koki. Just one more time. Like, that hurts me. Because, no, I would never. Um, like, I know you're impulsive, and the heart can change in an instant. But... No, it would never happen. Never. So I was thinking of something else. <laughs> Fart, not how about it? Mary. Travel back. We'll be long. Okay, hold on. <sighs> Men are not supposed to look women at the women in their eyes. They have to lower their gaze. Yeah. Decorate a place so it feels exactly Sanella. Yes, Rhonda. That's a good idea. We do have a lot of things like Bath and Body Works candles and stuff. 
The fuck do I care if they share this clip with her? Let anybody share the clip with her. Inside, she's like, oh, the blue balls are festering so hard. She's like, yeah, I wish I could fuck the shit out of Koki right now. <laughs> or starfish the shit out of Koki, I should say right now. She knows what's up. Everybody knows what's up. And if Koki would allow it, it would definitely be happening. If Koki would contact her now and be like, if you can get back here within 24 hours, I will absolutely go to a hotel with you. She would be at the Kuwait airport like now. The Kool-Aid man would bust right through the wall of that place to fly. She wouldn't even need a plane. She could just take off and fucking flap her wings and fly <laughs> and land in Lachine. Okay, it is what it is. I heard that. Do you find it hard to get used to the different cultural customs? Only when it inconveniences me in some way. You know, sometimes the, sometimes the jealousy is a bit, sometimes I get annoyed with certain things and like, why? Like I'm crabby. Um, but I get over it fast. So it's a little bit of an adjustment with some things, but uh, I understand a lot of their, their customs and I respect them a lot too. I'm coming to get you, Harry. That door's standing with me, Jim. My damn door, sorry, Maggie. He is Syrian. The crime rate is low. It is Gemini Gem, but still nervous, I guess. I don't know. Snap. And self-pop where he got me nachos. By the way, the nachos here are like Doritos. Um, we've we've lost season. energy on this stream. She's not even raging anymore. She's now talking about food and stupid shit. But uh, I should have been more honest because he was like, uh, we were doing a tour of the mall. And then I was like, we we're passing a bunch of restaurants. And I was like, in my head, like, okay, I think we're supposed to go eat now. And then we're passing Shake Shack and we're passing everything, BF Chang's. And then I seen that we were leaving the restaurant area and I started to get grumpy. <laughs> and I was like, well, you remember he would also order her to take showers? You remember that whole thing? He like forced her to take showers. She used to say that. I'm not pulling that out of my ass. That was Chantal's words. Um, yeah. So even before he was willing to do it, he was like, go bathe. I didn't, I didn't say anything. Like I should have said, like, let's go eat. But I, didn't, I was shy, like to ask him. So I was like, I want to just like, see if he's going to like mention it. <laughs> um, because like at that time, like, like he was paying for everything, right? So um, it's a weird feeling. Did you catch that? At that time, he was paying for everything. So he's no longer paying for everything. Was that just when you arrived until you got the YouTube pay? Hmm. Or until your friend showed him, not your friend, until his friend Alice showed you guys how to transfer the money. At that time, he was paying for everything. That definitely implies that he's no longer paying for everything. You just slipped bad, Chantal. Like relying on someone else for stuff. But not really relying. It's not like, how do I explain it? I was just shy. I didn't want to feel like a pig because we just ate stuff at the theater. But then I was starting to get angry because I was still hungry, but he was full because I thought we were going to eat after. So I gave him the rest of my nachos and he ate popcorn. So he was full. He gets full easy. Like he eats a lot, but still he gets full easy. And then he's, he's not hungry again for hours later. And me, I'm hungry sooner than him. So I usually have to be like, can you go get me falafels or something in the middle of the night? I think we're putting that guy's kids through college. I swear. Anyways, I ended up leaving the mall and I, I hadn't told him. So when we were doing our outro, I was all bitchy. <laughs> I was like, he's like, what's wrong? You know? And I was like, well, you said that we were going to get something to eat. Like the night before he was like, I'm going to take you to dip and dip. I'm going to take you to shape like all these restaurants. But then when I asked him at the mall, like, are we going to go eat? He was just like, I'm full. Are you hungry? And then I was like, no, and I should have said yes. Now I speak my mind more. If I'm hungry, I have no shame. This is why I'm full blown. Like, <laughs> but back. Yeah, that's, that's where the, the shift happened. Now it makes sense with that slip and the story she's telling any did. Okay. And we all noticed she, the eating picked up the pace of the eating, the quantity that she's eating, the um, frequency that it's like fast food and fried food. It's more, she just let it slip back when he was paying for everything. That's when they were eating the fucking plates full of fucking rocket and shit like that. And eating the fresh looking food and stuff. When it flipped and she became the one paying for everything. That's when she started eating a shit ton of food again. It's just, it's undeniable. Go back to the videos at the beginning when she got to Kuwait and look at what she's eating now. And it's now, she just said it in the stream we watched last night. Um, um, something I'm not into fresh food right now. Like she's into just fast food. That is where the switch happened. That is where she started paying for everything. 
holy shit. I'm going to go back. I really, uh, now I'm very fucking curious. Damn. I'm not logged in on here on the FFG account. When this stream is over, I got to go back now. I'm curious to see when did he stop paying for everything? Mmm, this is so interesting. She's such a moron. You see, she's always like, we just speculate and pull stories out of our ass. No, we we go with the little tiny little nuggets that you give us and we piece shit together and you know that we're right. Like it all makes so much sense. We have to be right. Every time this happens, we're right. So this is what's gone on. He paid for everything until they figured out how to start transferring the money to his account. And that is when her money came into play. Mm. And that's why they don't do shit. That's why they don't go out. That's why the content of the couples channel is only things they can do for either free or like a dollar or some shit because they're broke as fuck. Then I was like, you know, he's like, are you trying to ask me? He's like, are you trying to ask me, Yanni? Meaning like, you know what I mean? Yanni means like, you know what I mean kind of thing. And I was like, no, but I really was. Anyway, my story's all convoluted. Um, Jabba the Sink. Oh, this is so hurt my feelings. <laughs> Jojo Marie, welcome to Very Important Figures. Jojo, I remember you. Pretty typeies. <laughs> right, not me. Can you start the process of getting Stella to Canada soon? Um, Lois, uh, that's not in the plans right now. But I am. Everything should be done by January 30th. So if I wanted to, probably, yeah. I know, Crispy Bun. It won't be done on January 30th. I don't know. She, she keeps with this January 30th. Yeah. I mean, let's see what happens. But that implies she'll be here before January 30th. If it'll be done. She says the appointment is on January 30th. I don't even understand this. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But it's not that far. She's got weeks. Let's fucking see how this plays out. There's no way this shit ends on January 30th. He is not fucking coming here. And I, will she go back in March? Who knows? When you copy D, say your name. Shut up. Yeah. I agree with the gaming grounds post. I wouldn't allow the sniping. What can I do about it? I would love to know if anyone wants to help me. Can you imagine your partner watching videos of them with their ex while you awkward awkwardly sit there pretending you're not embarrassed? Dude, is so pathetic. Very pathetic. Matt Turd is still in love with you. That's why he watches you like a hawk and Dee just watches from the sidelines like a puppy. That's why she hates my guts. Ew. You had your chance, buddy, and you ruined it. You ruined it. You cheated. You lied. You abused. You had your chance. Like anyone gives a fuck. I'm done with this stream. Fuck you. You go out on, you had your chance, buddy. You had all of this. You had a chance at Miss Universe and you fucked it all up. Well done, buddy. She's so delusional. <laughs>